good morning uh, and good afternoon uh, for some people. I think good afternoon for me, but good morning for most of you. <laughs> so, uh, congratulations. I'm very, very proud of all of you. We have almost 85 winners from Africa for the Merck Foundation Africa Stay at Home Award, Media Recognition Award for the best coverage has been done from Africa to cover coronavirus pandemic, raise awareness about how to stay healthy physically and uh, uh, psychologically and how to uh, stay uh, safe and uh, uh, separate the myth from uh, the fact in coronavirus and you know there was a lot of mess happening during this pandemic because it is unpredictable it is for the first time that we are all kept uh, across the globe um, separated from each other movement restriction uh, lockdown in many countries and no travel at all and for me for the first year i did not travel to africa i used to travel to africa every year three times a month to different countries and meet you all there but this is the first time i've been locked uh, in and i hope it will be the last time in my career so i'm so happy that i am with you today and i feel uh, this is not the end this is only a start of a long long-term relationship with Merck foundation uh, one of my uh, uh, visions as the, on a personal level and uh, uh, also a very important factor to achieve Merck Foundation objectives is to capitalize as the, uh, on the critical role that you play in the community and to partner with media. I'm not talking about newspapers and TV channels. I'm talking about the media personnel, the journalists, the young potential prom promising journalists. They can actually create a culture shift. They can address sensitive issues, social, economic, health issues. They can uh, raise awareness uh, about many, many topics that we if we even start to uh, dedicate all our resources to do it, you can achieve it easier and in a very cost-effective way because you enter every home. So uh, uh, since we have most of our objectives in Merck Foundation is related to very sensitive issue, cultural issues and health issues. For example, uh, for this award, we were talking about coronavirus, but for other uh, objectives and award, I used to um, announce our uh, start earlier before coronavirus was about breaking the stigma of infertility and empowering infertile women. The next time I want about something about empowering girls through education and against child marriage and domestic violence. So all these things that's very, very important, very cultural, it's all only relying on changing mindset, mindset of uh, the community. So, and this is if it's done in an innovative and creative way with the media person, the person, a journalist who is active and innovative and creative and passionate about the cause, it can actually uh, contribute massively and significantly to uh, the achieving of this objective. That's why I want, when I am handing the award and celebrating you winning, I don't want only to do that and then we don't see each other anymore. I want to connect. I want to welcome you to be Merck Foundation alumni. And I, that's why I wanted to find uh, opportunities to build your capacity. Uh, if there is certain things that certain training uh, needed to be done, and for example, I find something suitable for coronavirus pandemic and the travel uh, uh, restriction, it's online master course that has a lot of uh, things I will show you uh, uh, very soon. Uh, but before that, I want to give you a little bit of a hint about what Merck Foundation is doing. I will ask Dembel to start share with you the screen, the presentation. 
In five minutes, I will introduce you quickly to what I am doing as a CEO of Merck Foundation and what Merck Foundation is doing. So it will be very easy for you to understand how can you contribute with your talent, with your outlet, with your uh, uh, understanding and advocacy to this, uh, uh, to this course. Uh, this is the programs we are focusing on. There is a signature campaign called More Than a Mother, where we are empowering women, infertile women, childless women, and trying to break the stigma around infertile women and infertility in general are raising awareness about male infertility. This is very important. Focus on this campaign because this is going to be the topic of the next competition. So we will have to see how can you tell the story, can be the voice of the voiceless, can break the silence of breaking the stigma and empowering these women in your communities and in your uh, countries. And I'm sure you will do a great job across all, uh, all the countries. Second one is a cancer access program, and this is not yet, we don't have any uh, awards about it yet, but I'm sure in the future, you will have something. We will retrain oncologists and doctors to be the first oncologists in their countries. And we do that all uh, with uh, in partnership with the first ladies. So the first ladies of Africa, almost 18 countries, and you will see now uh, in the next page. Can you please, uh, next, next page? First ladies of 18 countries, ambassadors of Merck more than a mother uh, and the breaking the stigma of infertility, but also ambassadors for educating Linda, where we also uh, trying to empower girls uh, in education, through education. And of course, I will not talk about the importance of education for girls or the challenges our girls are facing for education, because all of you are experts and know more than me. I am from Egypt and uh, uh, i know how education can transform your life you look at you without education you will never be here without education i will never be here so this is very very important that we inspire uh, uh, girls and educate communities that education for girls is very paramount and, and important i think these are two uh, the two things i would like to focus on in the, in the next um, next uh, 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 competitions and uh, I want to give you some ideas how many training we, we provided training for media across all countries about the fertility and the fertility stigma and the fertility prevention awards and many other things which I'm going to send to you by whatsapp group and email after we finish. So give you an idea about all the scientific facts about prevention of infertility, stigma of infertility, how to uh, raise awareness about male infertility and encourage uh, husbands to support their wives through the journey of infertility. And through our media uh, uh, training and through our social media, we started to integrate everything in our community awareness and advocacy building. That's why I'm relying very much on this competition, this relationship between you and us to uh, uh, achieve this object. I can sh uh, show you some of, uh, of the social media uh, 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 topics. I'm very active on social media. I have 3 million followers uh, from across Africa and this increasing every uh, every year, uh, every day, every day. Uh, we have a, a lot of videos, a lot of uh, uh, stories uh, to share, a lot of messages to share, uh, visits and uh, activities, initiatives, uh, reports, numbers. And every time uh, something very interesting, like for example, uh, my visit to uh, the childish woman in Uganda or in Malawi or in Zimbabwe or in Zambia, and uh, meeting with the first lady to talk to these women and see what kind of support, economic support we can give them. So we supported almost thousand women who have no children or infertile through uh, making small projects if you see the first page, uh, the first picture I show you, it was I'm holding a chicken. This is from the chicken farm we have done for some women. They, couldn't, they, they didn't have any source of income. They didn't have children. They were discriminated, abused and mistreated uh, by their community, their families, their husband because of infertility. But after this project, they became empowered. 
independent, happy, strong, and this is what we're trying to do. Plus, you are raising awareness and educating the community about that they are more than just mothers and they are strong women and dependent women in societies and should be respected and mistreated properly and respectfully. Uh, with love and respect, we also try to empower them from other ways. Of course, we train also doctors to be able to help them. Uh, as I said, this is, for example, uh, that that's the the picture I told you about with the chicken, and this some of my visits in, in Gambia, also to meet the women in Gambia with the first lady, and here. My, my close friend Jacqueline Mwendi, which uh, one of the victims of uh, infertility where her husband chopped her both hands, although he was the infertile and not her, but he couldn't accept it because the pressure of society and this was a disaster. And we supported her by giving her a supermarket and a house so she can be independent and she doesn't need anyone. Next, please. Here also, uh, uh, we stop here. Here is the, uh, how innovative way we are doing our community awareness. Plus the media recognition awards, we do also songs, uh, local songs for each country. So there is each country when we connect with the local singers, local musician, we do songs about the topic. And we start to connect the singers, the artists, with the media so they can actually work very closely to make and this is how i want you to function so for example if you find a singer which is very popular in your country you can approach me we can do a song we can do something video clip something that it can really go quickly to the young people to the community and the message of the soft power which is the, the art is very very important because it affects people uh, better and uh, start to uh, change them, change their perceptions and uh, understanding of uh, topics that needs to be corrected. So uh, this is very, very important. I believe in this very, very much. We've done almost 17, uh, maybe now it's now 20 songs about uh, different uh, topics, mainly about breaking the stigma of infertility and empowering women in education. So uh, we also do fashion awards and uh, um, uh, uh, film awards, filmmaking awards for filmmaking and film industry. Also about same topics, about breaking the stigma and empowering girls in education. Next please. Uh, as I said to you before, that we have also a, a, a committee from the first ladies that they are actually where we launched the Media Recognition Awards in partnership with all uh, of them. Uh, and this is very important because also they have their messages and their um, uh, advocacy messages, which we send uh, and we post on our social media so everyone can read and in their social media as well. Next, please. And here is the 1,400 media representative has been trained by us in 20 countries and we actually go physically to the countries and we have meetings for all the media personnel and training and then we launch uh, the award and I am sure there is some of you have seen us in, in the countries now. Since we don't have, uh, we can't travel anymore until maybe next year, we are trying to do things online and uh, we're trying to find an online options for trainings. Next, please. Uh, here is the online master course for award winners for you. So I said plus the monetary uh, award, which you are going to receive soon. Uh, we also give you access for a full year to access this type of uh, master course, which is uh, not by certificate, it's direct free that you can access all the information about storytelling, uh, filmmaking, directing, acting, stylist, photography. Uh, um, many, many things, even fashion uh, designs and how to photograph fashion, how to report fashion. It's a lot, a lot of videos from celebrities and experts from across the world give you tips and ideas and things and also modules you can access and and books and the notebooks so it's not only video but also materials i think this is going to be a very important uh, thing because me personally i benefited from it because i have access to this for four months now 
I learned a lot, a lot, a lot about short storytelling, long storytelling, how to direct something, how to make a TV, how to make a a, a, a report. Uh, it's, it's, it's a very uh, nice tool and we will give you this access for the full year uh, as a reward. But also if you find that you don't want to uh, have this access, please tell us we have one month a trial and then we can give this access to someone else that can benefit from it but this one month trial is uh, uh, we will not lose anything uh, after this month even if you don't use it it will uh, will cost us uh, the fees of uh, the subscription so i will i will ask you uh, please if you don't if you feel that after a month you are not interested or because it's in english for example it, you cannot follow because it's only english i'm so sorry we try to find something in French or Portuguese, but not. But it's also very easy to follow. It's not going to be difficult. If you find that it's not going to be beneficial, please let us know so we can cancel the sub subscription or we can give it to someone else who, who needs it. Uh, next, please. Here, what I talk about the fashion awards, and this is how uh, all the fashion designers has been already becoming creative and done a lot of uh, uh, designs have uh, no fertility stigma breaking the stigma of fertility next please and here's the film award as well and we have a lot of short films drama films documentary films that have been already participated in the film award and and they they also have uh, very important uh, w uh, winners thank you next please and this is what i said about the songs next please and here, very, very important is uh, uh, the stories, uh, children's story. I will send this to you as well, because it's really be very nice if you have an online outlet or you have a TV program, you can actually speak about these stories uh, or even read it to the children, uh, because it's a really nice uh, animation uh, emphasizing the love and respect between a husband and wife in children since young age. There's also other uh, stories. Please go next until you find uh, other stories. And this, of course, in three languages, French, English and, and Portuguese. Here also is Educating Linda. It's about empowering girls in education. And here's the right choice, uh, which also about making the right choice during coronavirus. And all of them is in three languages. And this is like a, a, a story uh, book uh, uh, shop for uh, kids and we distribute this in masses on kids in, in, in Africa for free of course. And here I also talk about the uh, first ladies uh, and how uh, they are actually ambassadors for for Merk Moza and Amazon breaking the stigma of infertility, the first lady of Ghana, Guinea, Conakry and first lady of Liberia. Next please. Uh, first lady of Malawi, first lady of Mozambique, first lady of Namibia. Next please. First Lady of Niger, First Lady of Nigeria, First Lady of Sierra Leone. Next, please. First Lady of Botswana, First Lady of Burundi, First Lady of Central African Republic. Next, please. First Lady of Chad and the DRC Congo, First Lady of DRC Congo and First Lady of the Gambia. Next, please. First Lady of Zambia, First Lady of Zimbabwe and Russia Kelish. That's <laughs> me. So uh, these are all uh, uh, important and very, very important uh, ambassadorship and they are all helping us not only in this uh, uh, award, but also for training healthcare sectors and training the doctors, finding the right doctors for the training so they can transform the public healthcare sector. We are talking about many specialties. Uh, fertility, uh, uh, health, reproductive health and sexual health, diabetes, cardiovascular, uh, respiratory medicine, acute medicine and endocrinology. So these are too many uh, specialties which in many countries they never had this specialty before and this was going to be the first specialist in these specialties in the country. So after the graduation this uh, uh, full transformation and reshaping of the public healthcare sector. 
which is very, very, very important in, uh, in, uh, for health, because health is very important for your economic and, and, and social development. And here you find some of the doctors who graduated already, like a doctor uh, from Namibia, other doctor from Liberia, and the other lady, she is also uh, one of the childish women we done for her one of the uh, projects of economic empowerment and we would like always to have them in posters and uh, telling their stories and uh, be, have their testimony so encouraging others also encouraging and motivating them and encouraging us, others to be like them next please uh, now I finish now my my presentation about Merck Foundation and about myself and I want to uh, now start and nicely to announce the winners. The winners of Merck Foundation Stay at Home Media Recognition Awards 2020. The best African journalist who had the best coverage for coronavirus this year. So uh, we have categories. We received a lot of applications. We selected with a committee, the best coverage, the best uh, and more frequent coverage. And now it's time to announce the winners for Southern African countries. So the Media Recognition Award for the category of the South African countries. The first award goes to Mr. Adolf Corey, I, of course, I am going to pronounce correct or not. Mr. Adolf Corey from Namibia, from Namibia Media Holding. And his first, uh, uh, he is the winner of the first uh, award. The first award he shared with also, and he saw there are two first award winners. Mr. Henry Siniagui Sin 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 from Zambia, from Zambia Daily Mail. And thank congratulations, Mr. Adolf and Mr. Henry. And of course, I will invite you later to have your intervention. Uh, congratulations for the first winner for the print category. Uh, both of you, it was a very, very uh, important coverage. Uh, it was only one prize, actually. But I found that there is, and we found that there is a lot of nice and, and coverage and high quality coverage. So we created a second and third prize in uh, this category. Uh, and uh, for that, we would like to congratulate the second prize winner, Mrs. Miss Violet Mingo from Zambia, also Zambia uh, Daily Mail. Congratulations. It was a very uh, nice uh, uh, coverage and we couldn't ignore it. That's why we created, <laughs> we created the uh, second award. But also you shared this award with uh, Mrs. Bridget, Br Br Bridget uh, Manana Bayer from Zambia, from Independent Senior Reporter. And uh, both of your coverage was great and we couldn't ignore it. And I said to myself and to the committee, let us decide to have a second award and to give it to both of you. So congratulations, congratulations, big congratulations. It's very also important between you and me because empowering women in media is a very important and, and a call for, uh, for men for Merck Foundation and for me as a woman, an African woman as well. But also we found a, a very uh, nice uh, coverage. I like it very, very much. And we give it a third uh, prize uh, for a very promising uh, journalist. His name is Cliff Shidoko, Shidoko from Zimbabwe, uh, News Day. So congratulations, Mr. Cliff. And I wish that next time you also win an even higher prize. So thank you very, very much. This is for the brand category for the Southern African countries. Congratulations. Uh, we will talk to each other uh, at the end. 
So now we go to the uh, Media Recognition Award Stay at Home from Merck Foundation for the Southern African category online. Can you please go to the next one? Online. So we have uh, for the online, we have three winners for first prize because it was very, very close call. We couldn't, we spent like three hours trying to see which one, how they are very, very, very close and they are very good uh, uh, in uh, the quality. So the first prize was Tendel Rubaba from Zimbabwe, from the Herald. Also the first prize goes to Kolitsu 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 Subigo, Subiga, from Botswana, uh, from Botswana, Guardian, and the Midweek Sun. Also, the first award go to for the online category to Jun Shimoshili, Shimo Shimoshili, uh, from Namibia, from uh, UN Rab Online Digital Media Platform. Three of you won the first award. Uh, and for online category for South African countries, congratulations! It was a really, really good one. And uh, for the second award, there is two winners as well. And the same, we can apply for this award because it was really good quality. I was impressed. Look, I mean, we received almost uh, 700 uh, uh, entries. So it was really, really uh, good. We have a second prize, which was shared by two winners, uh, Mrs. Space uh, Mzungu uh, from uh, uh, from uh, uh, Swanti, Swatini, Swatini, which formerly Swaziland, and from uh, uh, Swatini Daily News online publication. Congratulations. And also the second prize goes to Andrew Mambongiani from Zimbabwe, from the African Argument. So congratulations, Mr. Andrew. Uh, both of you won the second award for the online category. For the third prize, Mrs. Mercy uh, Malikwa from Malawi. Congratulations, they are our first winner from Malawi. Congratulations from MW Nation. I want to uh, emphasize uh, to uh, the winners until now, uh, we have from, I announced now from Namibia, from Zambia, from Zimbabwe, from Botswana, from uh, it's Iswanti and from uh, uh, Malawi. Uh, there is a, a partnership uh, with the first ladies in Namibia, in Zambia, in Zimbabwe, and Nami and uh, and uh, Malawi, uh, for this media recognition award, and I am sure you are going to receive your uh, certificate and also your letter of uh, uh, announcement of your winning from uh, the first lady office, somehow as well as from us. So congratulations for the Online Media Recognition Award. Now we go to the Multimedia uh, category uh, for the Southern African country. And here is, we have two first prize and we have uh, two second prize. The two first prize, which was very equally, is Abdullah Vauda. Abdullah Vauda from South Africa, and he is from Lens TV. So congratulations, Mr. Abdullah. Uh, it was a very, very nice uh, uh, coverage and very interesting. Congratulations. And also for uh, Mrs. Salima Hinok from Namibia from Namibian Broadcasting Corporation. Congratulations. Both of you with a very, very interesting TV program that I followed and I watched myself and it was really attractive and very nice and very informative. So uh, it was really great uh, coverage. Thank you, thank you very much and congratulations. Now for the second prize, 
which we also couldn't skip or ignore because it was really good also coverage. We have a, a Denver casting from Namibia as well, from Namibian Broadcasting Corporation. Congratulations, Mr. Denver. It was also very good coverage. And the second prize also goes to Mr. Aston Kondu, Kondui from Malawi, from Malawi Broadcasting Corporation, NBC. So thank you, congratulations. It was a very, very good TV show and uh, uh, very important to raise awareness about coronavirus and uh, uh, encourage people to stay safe and healthy. Thank you very much and congratulations. So uh, the major recognition for the radio category, which is very, very important. The first prize go to Rachel uh, in, in, in Gomolititi from Namibia and for Namibian Broadcasting Corporation in BC. We received a lot, a lot of entries from Namibia and uh, Zimbabwe. So, uh, uh, from Namibian Broadcast Corporation, uh, sorry, from Namibian Broadcasting Corporation in BC, congratulations very, very much for, for the coverage. The second award for the radio category goes to two people. The first one is Joel Jackson from South Africa, the Children's Radio Foundation. And the second one from uh, the, the, uh, the second prize, uh, which is they're sharing the second prize together is uh, Onyanogo uh, in Kahumo from Malawi and uh, from Zodiac Broadcasting uh, Station. Thank you very much. It was a very, very nice and interesting uh, uh, radio uh, coverage for uh, coronavirus. Thank you very much. Third award goes to uh, Brodinsi Salbana from Zambia, from Radio Phonics. Congratulations, uh, Rudins. And uh, it was really also nice, uh, nice, uh, nice coverage. I can see that you are very charismatic, both of you, Rachel and uh, Rodinsi. You, you, you should be also on TV one day. So it's really uh, nice to, uh, to see you uh, because we also only listened to you last time. So it's great to see you in person in, in your photo and we will see you I'm sure now as well. Congratulations. <laughs> so now we are going, we finish now the South African countries and we are going now to the West African countries. And West African countries, unfortunately, we didn't receive so many. But I am sure that next time we are going to receive more and more because I want all of you to raise awareness about this campaign and this uh, about this uh, major recognition award so we can receive more and more uh, applications and uh, we can increase our network and our winners. So for the West African countries, we have the uh, prize category uh, of the print and online only. So uh, for uh, we didn't receive TV or radio. So for the online, for the print category, the first prize goes to Ismail Salu Koroma from Sierra Leone and from Concord Times News paper and the uh, Pan African Vision Online. Uh, congratulations, congratulations, Ismail. It was really good. Also uh, coverage. Um, and for the Media Recognition Awards for the online category, it was the first prize goes to uh, Alu Sisai from Gambia, the Gambia, uh, from QTV. And I think Alu Sisai had already also dedicated his prize to the Gambian and it was really great. Uh, so uh, congratulations, he is from QTV. Uh, for Media Recognition Award online, we have the second prize for Hawa Dolly for, uh, from Liberia, from Liberia News Agency. Congratulations, Hawa. Hawa Dolly is the second time to win with us as award. Uh, she won the award of 2019, so she is a frequent winner. So I encourage you always to 
apply for uh, with a quality coverage for our award. Congratulations, uh, Howard Oli from Liberia News Agency. Uh, congratulations for West African countries. Now we go to uh, East African countries. Winners for Med Foundation Africa Stay at Home Media Recognition Award 2020. So we will start, we also received a lot of applications from East Africa. So we are going to start with the Media Recognition Award for Print category. The first prize goes to Uganda or Easter Oluko, Oluka from Daily Monitor. Congratulations for the brand as a category. Congratulations, Easter. It was a very, very nice coverage. The second prize goes to two people because they were equally the same level and standard, and it was amazing. Uh, Veronica uh, Rom Romwald. Marima from Tanzania, from Jamfi Lahabari. Congratulations. And the second prize also goes to Lydia Al At Atiano Barasa from Rwanda, from the News Times. Congratulations for both of you, Veronica and Lydia. It was really good, and you deserve the second prize. Third prize goes to Evelyn uh, uh, Makina uh, Gatubu from Kenya, from People, People Delhi. So congratulations for the third award for the brand category. I'm so happy to have all these selections, <coughs> Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda and Kenya and all of you ladies. So it's also sort of empowering women in media and uh, uh, youth in media because all of you young and uh, youth and and women but because i am an african woman i would like always to encourage women in science women in media uh, just encouraging but my attention and my uh, 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 contribution and Merck foundation contribution goes equally to the right and the, 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 the right and the most uh, talented, uh, whatever their sex is, believe me. But this is also the advocacy which we are. We need all of us, even you as men, to do to encourage women in different fields. So we finish now the print category. We go now to the uh, online category. The online category, we have three awards. The first award goes to Hilary uh, Oriandi from Kenya and from Standard Media Group. Congratulations, Hilary. It was very good. And the second prize goes to uh, Arnold Kozira from uh, Rwanda, uh, from CNBC Africa. Also, congratulations, Mr. Arnold. Third prize goes to Jeffrey Kamadi from Kenya, Scientific Africa, of Scientific African. So it was really good. That's why we created the second and the third prize because it was very, very good coverage. And uh, we are very happy to have our winners from the online categories, from Kenya, from uh, Rwanda, and uh, from uh, uh, Kenya and Rwanda, actually, two from Kenya and one from Rwanda. So the Media Recognition Award online for East African countries uh, uh, finalized. And congratulations for three of you. For the Media Recognition Awards for Eastern African countries for the multimedia, we have the first prize goes to two from Kenya, the uh, Mrs. Mashira, Mash, Mashirima Kambu, uh, Kambumbu, Kambumbi from Kenya, Citizen TV, and also from uh, to Dorcas uh, Wangira from Kenya, from Citizen TV. First prize 
for both of you and it was a very well done report reports i like it very 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 much two reports on the citizen kenya citizen tv was very good one by mashirima and one by Dor, uh, Dor, uh, Dor, uh, dorcas thank you very very much and congratulations the second prize goes to daniel Siba Kiji from Uganda, from NBC TV. Uh, congratulations, congratulations uh, for you as well. So the uh, multimedia category went to Kenya and Uganda. So congratulations. Now we go to Media Recognition Award for Eastern African countries for radio. And the first award goes to Mwanaisha Omonaisha Makombuli from Tanzania. So sorry, I'm trying to pronounce it properly. I will repeat. Omonaisha Makombuli from Tanzania. Omonaisha Makombuli from Tanzania, Tanzania from Highlands FM Radio. And you won the first award. Congratulations. For the second award goes to Kigongo Isa from Uganda, from Radio uh, Bilal 94.1. Congratulations for the second award. So for East African countries, radio category goes to Tanzania and Uganda. First award and second award. Imwanaisha and Kea Gongo. Congratulations. Congratulations and I'm very happy uh, to uh, have you winning and uh, happy to have you all of you to be Merck Foundation alumni. Now we finalize the Merck Foundation Stay at Home Media Recognition Awards for East African countries and the time now for French speaking countries. So the Media Recognition Awards for French speaking countries for the print category. This second. Yes, French speaking countries, print categories goes to first prize to Issa Musa from Niger, Niger Times. Congratulations, Mr. Issa, for the great, for the very good, very good uh, coverage for coronavirus and frequent coverage. Many, many coverage we received from you, not only one. So, this is a very important factor on uh, the winning. The second prize goes to Mr. Kamu, uh, Kau, Koami Agibita, uh, but I will pronounce it properly. Don't worry. Uh, Agibita Batiafa, Agbitiafa from Niger, also from the Le, uh, Republic, Republic, Republican, Le, Le Republican uh, from Niger from uh, Mr. Kawami Agibetali. So uh, for the Media Recognition Award for Brent, which we announced in Niger uh, in partnership with the First Lady of Niger, was very uh, well received, we received many uh, uh, applications. Uh, and uh, we had the first prize and the second prize from Niger. Congratulations. Now the second, uh, the online uh, media recognition award for uh, French speaking countries uh, online. Uh, we have six winners, two first, two seconds, two thirds for the online. The first prize goes to two people, uh, Arzina Jonathan uh, Mosivi from Central African Republic blog uh, Lanuka. Congratulations, Mr. Arzin. The first prize also goes to Abdelaziz Hali from Tunisia and from La Presse to Tunisia, Tunisia. Congratulations, Mr. Abdelaziz from Tunisia. It was very good also coverage. The second prize goes to Mr. Alfonso Joliu from Benin, from Global News. 
Congratulations, Mr. Alfonso. But also the second prize goes to, so he also the second prize, Mr. Boris Izuno uh, in, win, in win four from Cameroon, from Ban African Vision. So congratulations for both of you for the second prize. Big congratulations. The third prize goes to two people. Elisi Nandar Nan, Elisi Nandarasan uh, Nans, Nansila from Madagascar, uh, from La Express du Madagascar. So I'm so happy with this because it was a very good coverage, and I did not actually announce specifically in Madagascar, but I want to know from you uh, later how did you uh, see the uh, the uh, award. But of course, it was a very, very good uh, uh, coverage and we have to give attention to it. So congratulations for uh, LC4, the uh, winning the award, the third prize of the online category of the French African countries, French speaking African countries. But the third prize also goes to uh, Bahwa uh, Ferdinand, Ferdinand, Bahwa Ferdinand from La Journal Africa from Burundi. And congratulations, also we announced this award with, in partnership with the First Lady of Burundi. So congratulations, uh, Mr. Bahwa. Uh, frankly speaking, this year, I did not receive a lot of uh, applications from Burundi. Although the year before, I received almost 50 applications from Burundi, but this year, it's only few. So uh, I, uh, but but your, yours was outstanding uh, and across African countries. So I want to see more uh, journalists from Bronte next uh, next time because the quality, especially for radio, uh, radio radio um, programs, was amazing last year. I liked it very very much. It was uh, full of songs and full of things, which is really good. So maybe next time it will be even more. So uh, now for the French speaking countries for uh, Media Recognition Award for the online, because we did not receive any entries for TV, unfortunately. So we only received for radio and we have three winners, two first awards and one second award. For Media Recognition uh, for French speaking African countries, Media Recognition Award for Radio category, the first prize goes to Taliso Kaka from Niger from Saro, Saronia FM. Thank you very, very much. It was a very, very good coverage. You, congratulations for the first award winner, which is you have also another award winner. Uh, for the first prize to go to uh, uh, Mr. <coughs> Porimi, Porima uh, Oadrago uh, from Burkina Faso, from Radio uh, Foi uh, de Bison. Uh, congratulations for also winning the first award, first award uh, for Radio category. For the second prize, we have uh, Mr. Mokui. Willy San uh, from Cameroon, Cameroon Radio uh, and Television. Congratulations. <laughs> I see you uh, having a big share uh, with the Merck Foundation. And uh, um, I'm so happy that uh, we met before, I think in 2017 in uh, somewhere in Kenya. And I'm so happy to uh, have you also uh, winning the second prize uh, from Cameroon for the African uh, French speaking countries. So congratulations and I hope that we will receive more and more uh, the years after. Actually, to tell you, I received a lot, a lot, a lot of applications, like maybe 200, 300 applications from uh, the DRC Congo and as well as Mali. And this was the majority, but I want that uh, for the next time be uh, uh, 
um, for next time to uh, have uh, more uh, more coverage uh, and more application from uh, the rest of uh, African-speaking countries. Uh, when I told you about uh, I did not receive so many uh, applications from West African countries, it was not accurate information because I meant I received from many, many applications also, like now I said DRC Congo and Mali, we received many applications from Ghana and from Nigeria. That's why we had a separate uh, uh, award for them. We received almost 300 applications from uh, Ghana, uh, same uh, or more from Nigeria, uh, or actually Ghana more than Nigeria, so 300 something, and Nigeria was 290 or something application from Nigeria. So, uh, but I hope that the rest of the West African countries like Gambia and, uh, and the Sierra Leone, Liberia uh, and other West African countries uh, and French uh, African countries will receive more application next time. I'm sure that this will increase the, 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 uh, the awareness about the, the initiative. So now we finished. Congratulations for all the French-speaking African countries uh, for the uh, winners of the Merck Foundation Stay at Home Media Cognition Award for French-speaking African countries. So uh, now it's time to go to the Portuguese-speaking African countries, which is uh, um, we received from Mozambique and Angola. But we received many, many from Mozambique, more than Angola. Next time, because we are new in Angola, next time we want more more and more application from Angola. Uh, both of uh, countries, we uh, launched the award in partnership with the First Lady of Mozambique and the First Lady of Angola. And they will receive also your uh, uh, certificates from the First Lady offices. So now uh, the Media Recognition Award for the brand category goes to this next. We have the first prize goes to two people, Tizar Silva, Silva, uh, Silvia Ira from Angola, from Valor Economico. Congratulations, Mr. Cesar. Uh, congratulations for winning the first award, which you share with Mrs. Evelina Moshanga uh, from Mozam Mozambique from Sosida do uh, not, 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 not the, uh, noticias, noticias. From Sosidado Noticias, you also won the first award. So the first award winners, one from Angola and one from Mozambique. Congratulations for uh, this category, the brand category. The second prize goes to uh, Lydia Manuel Costa from Mozambique, Journal, Dossier and Factors. Congratulations for the second award. And the third prize goes to Fernand, uh, uh, Frederico Locas uh, Jamisi. And um, Jamisi, yes, Frederico Jamisi. They and from Mozambique and from Journal Domenico, um, uh, also Sociedado de... I'm not going to pronounce it, sorry, but <laughs> I'm sure you will understand. So Journal Domenico and from Mozambique, congratulations. So we have the uh, four winners from Angola and three from Mozambique. Next time we will have more from Angola uh, for sure. For the Major Recognition Award for Portuguese speaking countries, uh, uh, African countries, for the online category, we have the first prize goes to Cornella. Cornella, uh, Cornello Rosa. Cornello Rosa from Mozambique, from Televisia de Mozambique. So, uh, congratulations uh, for winning the first award for online category. For the Media Recognition Award Multimedia category, we have two winners. The first prize goes to Abdullah Riman 
Alifata Ebramu eh, Ebraimo Ebra, from Mozambique, eh, TV Serdu, Dear TV. Eh, this is the first prize. I liked very much the show. And uh, I'm sure that I will meet all of you when I come to Mozambique because I didn't see any uh, of you and I, I went only to Mozambique only once and it was in 2014. So I'm due to come to Mozambique and we will launch uh, our programs there. The second prize for multimedia goes to Basqual Malati from Mozambique, Telefesia to Mozambique, to Mozambique as well. So congratulations for both of you, Mr. Abdullah Rahman and uh, Mr. Bas Basqual uh, Malate. Uh, congratulations for winning the Media Recognition Award of Multimedia. For the Media Recognition Award review, the first prize goes to Mr. Jeremias uh, Mondalani from Mozambique, Radio Mozambique. The second award goes to Mr. Somali, uh, Somali uh, Gilberto uh, from uh, and so and Mr. Somali Gilberto from Mozambique, Radio Mozambique. The third award goes to Mr. Nelson uh, Mainato from Mozambique, Radio Mozambique. There's three awards for the radio online. We received many, many applications and many links for radio TV, uh, radio uh, programs about coronavirus. And we selected three of you uh, and it was really good. I was very much uh, impressed and I'm sure next time we will receive also some radio. Some radio. Congratulations for the winners from the Portuguese Afri speaking African countries uh, for the Stay at Merck Foundation Stay at Home Media Recognition Awards for 2020. Now we go to the winners from Ghana. We said we received a lot of winner, a lot of application from Ghana and from Nigeria. So, uh, but Ghana, this is the second time we launch our awards and we have a great link with the media of Ghana and the winners of last uh, year. And I'm sure this is going to be uh, even emphasized and strengthened year after year. So let me, let me now announce the winners of the Ghana uh, winners of the Stay at Home Media Recognition Award. First prize for print category uh, goes to Ama Tikwayawa and uh, um, Ama Tikwayawa. I will only have this uh, two names of your na long name because it would be easier for me, but you are from Ghana, from New Times Corporation, The Spectator. Congratulations for winning for the first uh, prize. I liked very much your article and your articles, uh, and it's very, it was very good. Thank you very much for the contribution, Emma. And for the Media Recognition Award for the online category, we have first prize and we have the second prize. The first prize goes to Albert Foto Kobor uh, from Ghana News. Uh, agency first prize so congratulations and for the media recognition award online for Ghana second prize Lydia Kukawa Asma Asmao from Ghana Ghana news agency congratulations for both of you so we have you uh, the first and the third and second and the uh, I think there is, um, uh, we have the first and the second prize uh, from Ghana uh, for, for the online uh, media recognition award. Now we go to the multimedia award because we did not receive any radio uh, entries, but we received a lot, a lot of TV entries. So I would like to announce the winners for the multimedia recognition awards for um, Ghana. And the first prize goes to Grace Hamoa uh, Asari from Media General TV3. Congratulations, Grace. Congratulations. 
The second prize goes to two people because it was equally good, very, very good. Nana Na, uh, Yao uh, Jima from Ghana, Multimedia Group Limited. And Wendy uh, Laria from Ghana TV3 Network. So both of you, congratulations for winning the equally the second uh, place. Congratulations for three of you for the uh, multi, for the multimedia category of the Stay at Home Merck Foundation Media Recognition Award. Congratulations. We're going now to Nigeria and we announce the winners of the Merck Foundation Stay at Home Media Recognition Award 2020 for Nigeria. We have for the print category, we have the first uh, prize goes to Ojomo Accor, Nigeria from Daily Trust. Congratulations, uh, Ojomo, Ojoma. Congratulations, Ojoma. And now we have the online category and we have two first prize and one second prize. Uh, the two first prize goes to uh, Ishloma Emi, Ishloma Emi Mari from Nigeria, from Ventures Africa. And also first prize goes to Eberi Agozi from Nigeria GFH News. Congratulations for winning the first prize for the online category, both of you equally. Congratulations. For the second award for the online media recognition award, it goes to Odi Migwa Migwo uh, on uh, Onwu Miri from Nigeria from the Nigerian Voice. So congratulations for winning the second award for Stay at Home Award. And the, the difference was based on the number of entries and uh, uh, how many entries we received from uh, each of you. For the Major Recognition Award for Multimedia, we have one award, first award, which is Anita Flex Felix from Nigeria, TV 360 Nigeria. It was a very, very interesting TV program. Thank you very, very much, Anita. And for radio category, we have the first award and the only uh, award winner is Ikini uh, Odigwa, Nigeria. Federal uh, Radio Corporation of Nigeria, Cold uh, City FM, Cold City FM. So congratulations for both of you for winning the multimedia category and the radio category. For, this is for Nigeria. Now we go to the uh, Democratic Republic of Congo, DRC Congo, winners of the Stay at Home Media Recognition Award 2020. And it was launched with the in partnership with Her Excellency, the First Lady of DRC Congo. The winners are for the so brand category. The first award winner is the Macy Musau uh, Din 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 Dinika from Forum uh, de, de, I think, Doze, Doze, from Forum Doze, and uh, uh, congratulations for winning the first award for the brand category. For the online category, we have two first uh, award winners and one second. The two first award winners, the first, first award winner goes to Sezian Tribunal, uh, uh, on, on Ghani from the Radio Central and personal blog named Diplomacy Development. Congratulations, Sazian. Very, very, very interesting, active all, all the time uh, on your uh, coverage and many, many coverage uh, received almost if we calculate like weekly entry. So it was really good. First award winner also goes to Makanya Kafuata Kafata Andre from uh, Mbutu Africa, Mbote Africa. Congratulations also for winning the first uh, prize uh, for the RC Congo for the online category. The second prize goes to Stephanie uh, Manza uh, Mukwendi from. Uh, 
alertcoronavirusoldpress.com uh, for oldpress.com also congratulations for winning the second prize for the online category you have a lot a lot a lot of awareness uh, uh, messages and, and campaigns on on your website so for the media recognition multimedia which is a tv we have three award winners the first award winners goes to Moimba Wa Moimba Dunat from the uh, Joa service, Joa magazine. Congratulations. We have the second prize, Jesse Nzengo uh, from uh, Balmier, uh, Balmier Radio Television Communicator. Congratulations. Very, very, very interesting. And the third prize goes to Casadi Lucosa Nicolas from Radio Television Happy Day. Congratulations for both of you. Your TV shows was very, very interesting and uh, uh, impressive for about coronavirus. Uh, congratulations for the first award, second award, and third award. Uh, for the Media Recognition Award for Radio category for DRC Congo, we have the first prize and the first award go to Ali Bukasa. Kambabi from Radio Communicator, Communicator uh, Batuk. And the second prize goes to Jody Daniel Inkashama from Radio um, uh, Okabi. Congratulations for winning the award of the radio category for both of you. First and second award. Congratulations. Now we finish the uh, media award for mission award for the RC Congo. We go to Mali, and uh, for Mali we have the Brent first award winners: Brahima uh, Taruru from uh, Les Paris Les Perance Les Perance, uh, and he's winning the first prize. Congratulations, Brahima. For the first award. For the media recognition award for the online, we have first and second award winner. For the first prize, Fosini Tugola from uh, Filangori. And the second uh, prize goes to uh, Sheikh Mokhtar uh, Sheikh uh, from Lisor. Congratulations for both of you for winning the first award winner and the second prize for the online category. For the Media Recognition Award for Multimedia TV, we actually received nice coverage. For uh, first prize for Musa Abdullaya Baba Haidari from OTM uh, uh, Barmako. Congratulations. And for Media Recognition Award for Radio, we have the winner, first award winner is Musa Kony from Radio Shy, uh, Shiny uh, Duo of Team. Congratulations for both of you. And now we finished. Congratulations for all of you for winning the Media Recognition Awards for Africa at large. And uh, I would like to invite uh, one by one uh, for you to uh, have contribution intervention for two minutes to connect with your colleagues, your winners, and to uh, tell us what is the impact of this award, how this encouraged you or will encourage you, and how you will contribute to advocacy with us in our uh, campaigns. So my name is Bridget. Uh, Manana Vive. It's, it's, it's quite a tongue twister even for me. I mean, my surname. Um, I've been writing uh, health issues and also covering issues of human rights and um, a whole lot of other issues, just trying to have and make an impact and also just trying to uh, inform as many people as, as I can reach. So for me, this award is... Um, really much appreciated because it's recognition that I've been doing something and uh, somebody out there thinks uh, it's great work so it's yeah I really appreciate it and I've been writing um, 
the COVID-19 issues uh, when when it started. Before it even got to Zimbabwe, I was on it and I was uh, covering COVID issues every week for our uh, weekly uh, newspaper. So, and for me, uh, I had a passion for it and I had a passion to learn more and also impart that knowledge to many people, many Zimbabweans uh, who didn't know and also people out there uh, because this was a new virus and there were a whole lot of questions around it. So I, I was trying to cover that gap uh, and provide information as well as uh, assess the situation on the ground and whether our government was also ready to deal with these issues. And also, um, I think I would like to continue with this work. I always say um, I would like to, what makes me proud about journalism is making an having an influence and making an impact and uh, providing information to people because uh, an informed people uh, will make better decisions. So that's what I hope I'll also do uh, in the long run for the Mac Foundation. And I hope we can have a partnership and I can also keep networking with everyone else here and see how we can improve our societies. Yeah, I talk a lot. So for now, thank this you. is what thank I have to Thank you very today. much, Precious. So Congratulations, dear. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. So, yeah. Mr. Adolf Corey. Uh, is the first award winner from Namibia from Media Recognition Award brand, Mr. Adolf. Yes, it has been an, an honor winning this award, and um, I learned it is. Um... Hello. Yes, we can hear you. Yes. Yes, so... I, I learned a lot. Um, representing my country Namibia that uh, COVID-19 really uh, brought a lot of unity in in the country as well as um, we saw a lot of people um, try to cover this as positively as possible with people and uh, anthropologists coming through with donations and this really unified the country in a time of need and uh, coming coming from um, a country where there is not a lot of term oil it gave me the opportunity to also um, document the spot of positive news in the, in our weekly newspaper um, that is uh, not a weekly but a online newspaper the erongo 24 7 as well as um nmh other story that came through was uh, when the governor is the governor of a certain region here in a lot of positive uh, news to the people to say that even the governor of this area went to get tested and this motivated a lot of people to also go out there and get tested right. in numbers so that um people can also know uh whether they're positive and or negative so that they can be treated early Yes, great. I'm so happy for this, Mr. Adolf. And I'm sure that you will uh, join our journey also in other um, advocating for other topics uh, in the future after Corona as well. Thank you. Yes, definitely. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. So, Ms. June, from the first award winner from Namibia uh, for the online category. Good yes. morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, thank, you, thank you so much for hosting us and also giving us this platform, you know, to get our work recognized. Um, I am actually the founder of the media house that I work for, which got me this award. And we are an arts and culture niche uh, media house. So the fact that arts and culture can also be used as an advocacy tool to make a difference and which is what we've seen with the awards that you gave us is just really um, fulfilling and hopeful, you know, that um, even though music does make us happy and dance, it can also uh, be um, used as an information disseminating tool. And I really look forward, you know, to working with your foundation. I found out that you use a lot of creatives as well. So, um, and we do have a lot of those in Namibia, you know, who can use right. their voice. 
especially to fashion, my... fashion uh, awards and the songs. You've seen also the songs we have done with uh, Shanke. Yeah, okay. and Marina, exactly. Um, we also <laughs> covered that. So um, I do look forward to working with you and also learning yeah. from this um, as an and a, and a beneficiary. So thank you so much. Thank you, June. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations, dear. Uh, Mrs. Faith from Eswati. Yes, this is Faith Mzungu Virakati from Eswati. Oh, great. Great to see you. <laughs> Good to see you too. We have been looking forward to seeing you. And thank you for the recognition. Of course. You deserve yes. it. Um, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's, I'm just glad to know that, you know, we deserve, we know we deserve it, but at least someone else also was able to recognize that. So thank you so much for the recognition. Um, to me, journalism is a service that we offer to humanity. And with the Corona, uh, the Stay at Home Award, it gave us that opportunity because the, the COVID-19, you know, changed the world, we, the way we, we see the world. And as journalists, we had to step in to be of service to humanity. So um, we are just glad that the Make Foundation was able to give us that platform. Uh, for me, my career goal is to be of service to my community, to my country, as well as to the world at large. So with the Make Award, it gave me the opportunity to even be of service to the world. I might be of service to my community and I might be of service to my country, but the Make Foundation now has given me a, an opportunity to be of service to the world because Thank my you. work will be recognized by the world. So I look forward also to, to be the Make Foundation alumni and also to participate in future projects of the Make Foundation. Of course, and I will be in contact with you personally to be able to provide a specific training about breaking the stigma of infertility for uh, your country uh, media. And okay, uh, so partnership much. with the media society and all this, yes. So I will do it online at the beginning until we do it physically after the coronavirus. Okay, I look forward to that. Thank you, thank you, Ms. Congratulations again. Yeah. We will go to uh, Mr. Mercy Malikwa from Malawi. Hi, everybody. Hi. Yes. Hi, hi, how are you? Congratulations. I'm listening. How are you? <laughs> Thank Congratulations, Congratulations. So tell us about the so award. Much. Thank and you. I know Thank that you received you received your certificate. Did you receive your certificate from the first lady or not yet? Uh, I was not able to attend the first lady's function, but I got it by email. Very good. Yeah, great, great. Yeah. So tell tell uh, us. So um, I'm really good. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Uh, so I'm really happy about this recognition because uh, as my colleague uh, said, um, I also take journalism as a service to the community. So with the coming end of COVID pandemic, I took it upon myself um, to make sure that I raise awareness about the disease to the Malawi community as well as to address the information gaps that we face. Uh, because being a new disease uh, that uh, was still evolving, there was so much information that was coming, and people were getting lots of information from different from different places and different people. So as a journalist, I took it upon myself to make sure that I deliver credible information coming from scientists and medical personnel themselves to make sure that people stay safe during the pandemic. Thank you very much, Mercy. Thank you very, very much. I know that the voice is not very clear, but we could understand a little bit what you are saying, and uh, we will be cooperating with you for sure right. in the future. <laughs> thank you, Mrs. Mercy. All right, thank you. Congratulations again. So, uh, um, do we have uh, Mr. Ab Mr. Abdullah yes. Bauda from South yes, Africa? We have him. Hello. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Congratulations for the first okay. prize, first award. Can you see me and hear me? <laughs> yeah, very well. 
Okay, so firstly, thanks. It's an honor and a pleasure to be here uh, among these esteemed colleagues and our hosts. Uh, and first, foremost, thanks to Dr. Rasha and the team at Merck Foundation uh, for considering the footage that we had entered. Uh, so we are indeed humbled and also inspired to improve and do better. And as you mentioned, uh, there's more categories to look forward in future, uh, not only for awards and winning prizes, but to report in general, which I think uh, is a good thing for Merck to set a trend uh, amongst foundations in terms of what are priority issues to be covered by the media. Uh, and so women issues, cancer and so on, uh, the list is endless. Uh, and so for me as a multimedia reporter, uh, I find it, it good to be among such esteemed colleagues and al also learning a lot from everyone. Uh, and I want to say again, thank you. And uh, yeah, let's continue learning. And it would be good uh, to have this alumni masterclass uh, to build my own, uh, my own uh, skill, uh, but also to then pass it on and the knowledge to others within the TV station, which is still new at this stage, uh, which is very much online. Uh, but yeah, maybe the next time we speak, we have uh, tales to tell about how the station has grown. Uh, and uh, yeah, a big shout out to all the colleagues who are here today, uh, especially a gentleman who was driving all the way. Uh, so it shows the, you know, the efforts coming in from all across Africa with different connectivity issues. Uh, today, I'm fortunate to be in an office with Wi-Fi, but back on the road with mobile data, uh, it's not easy, so thanks to everyone for joining Thank you. and to you and very much, Shahullah, and we will be in touch with you as well for the same uh, project I want to do for the training of uh, the media in South Africa and some ideas for South Africa. Wonderful. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thanks. So, uh, do we have also the first award winner, Mr. Mrs. Uh, Selaima Henko from Namibia? Yes. Oh, great. Okay. Hello, congratulations. Hi. How are thank you? Thank you. I'm good, thank you. Well, thank you so much for the opportunity. Um, we don't take it for granted. I think this whole um, award is just a boost in our careers, or in my career specifically, because it's, a, it's the first award I'm getting in my young journalism career. And um, uh, being a person who's more into community stories and art stories, I think um, looking at Mac Foundation and what they stand for, it's more on uh, community advocacy. So definitely I'm looking forward to be working with you on how we can get awareness into communities and making sure um, that the community is aware and finding solutions for them at the end of the day. So thank you so much for the award. Thank you award very much, Mr. Lima, and wish you great success. Congratulations. <laughs> okay. From the so radio. From the radio, uh, first award winner, Rachel uh, from Namibia, uh, from Namibian Broadcasting Corporation, NBC. Hello. Hi, hi, how are you? I am fine, thank you. Thank you so much for the award. I first like to thank the Merit Foundation for this wonderful award. I'm very excited to have received it. And uh, I am from a youth radio station called Touch FM. And uh, for me, it was very important to share news to young people and make them feel involved because I do believe that as a media, we have an important role to play to, uh, you know, disseminate information that can potentially save lives, especially with COVID-19. We were literally playing a part in saving lives, making sure that they are informed and therefore can make informed decisions. Uh, for me, it is also really important because then we build trust between, you know, the listeners and the radio station and the media in general, making sure that we give accurate information and uh, as well as also bringing hope because, you know, giving information on COVID-19 and really telling them that there is a way for you to be able to prevent COVID-19. This is what you can do and this is how you can protect your mental health. So I was really important, uh, really uh, grateful for the opportunity and I look forward to working with the Mary Foundation. I also, again, just thank you for the masterclass I think I can, you know, grow myself and be able to share the knowledge to others. So I thank you so much and I'm looking forward to working with you. Thank you very much, Rachel. Congratulations. Congratulations, my dear. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. So like I said, um, uh, I'm very excited to have been uh, one of the winners uh, of this um, uh, media award that's uh, Make Foundation. Uh, I'm very excited because uh, 
from the stories that I wrote uh, regarding COVID-19 awareness campaigns uh, here in Malawi, particularly in uh, uh, areas where uh, the Malawi nation actually uh, keeps the asylum seekers or the refugees, uh, I, I wrote stories just to make sure that they are aware of, um, you know, measures or methods of uh, COVID-19 prevention. So they are not in despair, they are, they are not in fear because of uh, different activities that officials from government, but also those working with uh, UNHCR are, are doing around Zareka refugee camp here in Malawi. So I'm very excited because I've contributed in one way or the other to maybe COVID-19 prevention uh, here in Malawi, particularly around Zareka refugee camp. Great. I'm so happy to, uh, to hear this. And yes, we noticed this coverage and it was really impressive and it's hitting like two birds with one stone. So it's affecting two things in the same time. And uh, this is how effective uh, our advocacy should, should, uh, should be. Uh, thank you very, very much for this. So now we have uh, uh, the third prize. Uh, is the third prize is here, Mr. Saibana? Yeah, Prudence Anna? Saibana from Zambia is here. Prudence, Prudence. congratulations for the third prize for the radio category. Uh, thank you very much. Hello. And good afternoon <laughs> to everyone. And hello, good afternoon. Yes. Okay, yes. So thank you very much, Make Foundation, for the opportunity and being one of the journalists that have been recognized of the work that we're doing. I personally do a lot of stories. Uh, I do a lot of health stories and uh, just stories to do with issues uh, concerning women and, and uh, young people. And to me, this recognition award means a lot. And it just gives me the drive to do more stories that really affect the women in terms of health and the like. And uh, during my reporting, um, uh, during the, the, the cor coronavirus uh, lockdown, um, it, it actually gave me a, a drive to do a lot of stories and just making sure that the communities around are aware of some of the preventive measures that they're supposed to take and to, in order to protect themselves the, from coronavirus. So I look forward to working with Make Foundation and thank you very much once more. You're welcome. Congratulations. Big thank congratulations. You. Thank you. <laughs> okay, for the second prize category for the brand. Yes, Mrs. Violet Mingo from Zambia Daily Mail. Hi, thank you. You're welcome. How are you? You. Yeah, I'm fine. It's not unfortunate that I'm traveling. I'm in the national park, but I didn't oh, want to miss I'm this so sorry. So sorry, and thank yeah. you for joining, uh, despite the fact that you are traveling. Sorry. Thank you. Yes. Um, I just want to thank Make Foundation for the opportunity, and just being recognized as one of the winners is um, is a huge uh, thing to me. I would like to thank also. Uh, am I audible enough? Yes, we can hear you, but we can't see you. I'm not sure if you are uh, in purpose or not, but you can continue. Oh, but uh, my video is on, unfortunately. It's just that uh, I'm standing where I don't want to lose network. Ah, uh, maybe, yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> no problem. Yeah, it's really in the bush and the network is just where you find it. You don't have to move. So no, I would like to stay there. Yes. Yes. my other participants. And just to thank the foundation for this opportunity. I look forward to working with you um, going forward and also to be a channel in my country to contribute more to issues that affect uh, the country, like COVID. When COVID was announced in Zambia, it was something that everybody was afraid of and journalists had to play their part. And I'm so glad that I was one of those that tried to send the message out there for people to uh, take and also adhere to the measures that were being uh, advised by the Ministry of Health. I'm very grateful and look forward to working with the Foundation. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Congratulations, Mrs. Violet. Thank, Thank you. you so I think now we can go to the uh, West Africa. Uh, do we have uh, Sierra Leone, Gambia, Liberia? 
Ali Yusisi from Gambia, from QTV. Congratulations, my friend, for the first award for the Media Recognition Award online. Thank you very much, uh, Russia. Uh, you have uh, done a lot, just... a lot, a lot of coverage. I kept sharing your work on the, our social media. It was really, actually, uh, very advanced, very early. Uh, a lot of uh, innovative ideas. I liked it very much. Thank you very much. Uh, I will just start with uh, congratu congratulating all the winners of this uh, brilliant idea by Mac Foundation in collaboration with the First Ladies of Africa yeah. to better help in you know, raising awareness as far as COVID is concerned in our different countries. Uh, for the Gambia, where I mean, uh, there was so much denial among the population about this whole COVID situation, there was a need for the media to step up and, and so that uh, people are enlightening them, but people, they, their knowledge about this COVID-19 is raised so that they can understand that this is real. I mean, and you know, this is a killer disease and it was important that the media play uh, a critical role. And uh, I'm, I'm quite proud to be uh, among the winners. I mean, health is something that I'm so, so much passionate about. And because of that, even in our country, you know, I've been winning the National Journalism Awards uh, for the health category oh, for the second, second consecutive year. Yeah, yeah, so I mean, it is, it is, it is, it is important that, you know, the media plays a, a very crucial role and uh, we can just pledge our, our commitment to continue working with the Mark Foundation to yeah, ensure that... Uh, definitely. Uh, this I will are, be in touch uh, with you because I have some ideas I want to share with you, yes. Exa ex exactly, and I hope, you know, the media will, will, will continue working with Mark Foundation to ensure that, you know, yes. we make an impact on, on our society. So on that note, I thank you very much, Mark Foundation, and then a big congratulations to all the winners uh, of this You're year. Welcome. So, uh, You're welcome. Thank you very much. Congratulations. I'm not sure if I uh, said before, uh, but there is a good news for me happened actually two weeks ago. I wanted to share it with you. Uh, uh, I've been appointed by the president of uh, Egypt, uh, um, His Excellency Abdel Fattah Sisi, among eight people, uh, among hundred people, uh, as a senator. Uh, in the Senate of Egypt, uh, and actually, uh, it is they are the Senate of Egypt is 300 uh, in, in number, 200 by election, and 100 quota for the president to hire from different expertise across the country, uh, across the, from the country across the world, to help in the uh, social and uh, economic development and health development of the country. And I've been selected. Thank you, thank you. And I was actually surprised for me because I did not know even that there was a Senate uh, uh, selection or because it's new, it's never been before. Uh, it was before, but it was disconnected long time ago and then it came back. So it was a very a nice surprise for me. And they told me that they've been selected for my um, impact and, and the, the good work I have done uh, in development in Africa. And they want to utilize this as well in development of Egypt as well. So, and also to explore opportunities of uh, partnership and collaboration between Egypt and Africa. Uh, training, uh, ideas, uh, many things in art, in media, in education, and health and in, in, in social and in economy and tourism so i am going to start to come come up with ideas so why the reason i am uh, connecting with you now if anyone has ideas that we can uh, propose to uh, emphasize the relationship for win-win situation so it's um, opportunities of collaboration partnership development uh, projects, even in, in business or social development or education or health, please connect with me. In, Thank in, you in, so much. In Egypt um, and, uh, and the country, in your country. Once again, congratulations. And then Welcome. congratulations on the video that you sent. That was brilliant. I mean, as, as I said, uh, in our office at QTV Gambia, which is on actually the most watched TV station by Gambians, both within and outside the country at the moment. As, aside from the message in that video, it moves most of my colleagues in the office. They'll just like that, that, that music video. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very, very, very much. Thank you. Thank you. So now can yes. we go to East Africa or, or are, are we anyone from East Africa? Yes. First, first award is Esther Oluku. Yes. Oluku. 
Luca? Yeah, we have everyone from East African countries, uh, all the winners are uh, Esther, Esther or Luca from Uganda, Daily Monitor, first award winners for the Media Recognition Award brand. Congratulations. Esther, thank you. you thank you. Yes, thank hi. You. You're welcome. Congratulations. Thank you. You can hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I can see you. Don't worry. Okay, um, uh, I would first want to say um, thank you. Thank you for the recognition. I am so humbled and grateful. Welcome. This award was very special to me because it was my first journalism award. Um, so it it does really mean a lot to me. Not the last. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, 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 then for the coronavirus uh, coverage that I did, uh, when we had our first case of, um, of the pandemic, the first case of coronavirus reported in, uh, in my country, Uganda, uh, that was on March 22nd this year. I, I made it um, a responsibility as a journalist to do all the stories that I could to to educate and sensitize uh, members of the public. So I I did a couple of stories and um, as I was browsing the internet one time, that's when I came across the Mark Foundation where they were encouraging journalists to send their stories. So, so I remember sending about 10 stories, I, th I think between eight to 10 stories that I had done on COVID-19 because yes. I didn't know what specific stories that no, you were looking it's good for. Because so the when I eventually... Yeah. More, more, more application is better. It's, uh, up here and here. I help you to win. Yes. Yeah. So eventually when I received the email that I had won the award, I was very humbled. And moving forward, this has inspired me to to work harder and do more challenging stories, not only based on health, but um, anything else, especially concerning women and children, because I'm very passionate about that section so once again thank you very much and i look forward to to working with you in case there are any opportunities yes, that come thank you so much eh? congratulations again thank you very thank much you. for being here thank, thank you. you thank you so we go from the first award winner easter from uganda to the second prize winner uh, veronica uh, uh, romwald from tanzania veronica thank Yes. Congratulations, Veronica. Thank From you. Jari, really. Lahabari. Uh, Lahabari. Is it co correct? Yes. It's correct. <laughs> so tell, do, you, do you hear me well? Yes, very well. Okay. Um, first, I would like to thank the Mac Foundation and the team for the organization. For me, it is the second time for the prize. The first one was for the infertility. And when we back to Corona pandemic, for us in Tanzania also, it was a new story. And after the announcement of the Honorable Minister for Health, it was in March 16, I can remember. It was a very big short story. And when I was uh, uh, looking in the internet special, I see a lot of uh, fake news stories. And that was the thing which pushed me a lot to write about the corona pandemic stories to make sure that I use my career to help the society to get uh, 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 to get the facts from the specialists uh, in our in our ministry and other doctors who are responsible to talk about the pandemic. I'm very happy to be among winners, and I hope uh, it will be good for me to learn a lot about. Uh, uh, how to, to write good stories more than what I have submit, maybe. Um, to Veronica, my society the, as well. the best 
is a bit, um, I mean, the sound is not clear very much. So um, uh, I'm not sure what's, what's wrong, but we couldn't hear you more. But we heard you at the beginning and uh, that you are very happy with, with the award and you are going to work on more women uh, advocacy and uh, continue your good work in journalism. So yes. uh, thank you very much, Veronica. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. So uh, do we have Lydia uh, Aciano from Rwanda, the News Times? So thank you so much. I first want to take this opportunity. Thank you all of you, the winners. So secondly, I'm so honored to be here and grateful for the award. I thank uh, Mark Foundation for giving us this opportunity, this platform. I believe this is going to not to it's going to change the way we perceive um, how we do stories, and also the foundation is going to like open our mind and help us like do the stories that touch the community. Uh, another thing also, I believe uh, our role as media, it's not all about informing. For us, we, we need to also educate the audience with the right information. So for instance, the, the story I did about mental health and COVID-19, so you find that um, like, uh, People, they knew, they, they had all information about COVID-19. They knew what they're supposed to do, the prevention, you know. But another thing, another aspect they didn't know is about their mental health. So most of them, they didn't know what to do about their mental health. So yes. for me, it's, it's actually fulfilling to find that I came in to educate and also to inform them Apart from just the measures they, they were taking, also taking care of their mental health was something which was useful. So for me, that was the most fulfilling part. So lastly, I believe uh, this platform, uh, apart from recognizing our effort, I believe we are going to work together as a team. And I believe we are going to network, we are going to learn more about everyone. Yeah. So that's Great. Cool. Thank, Thank you. So Thank much. you very much and congratulations, dear. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You so now we have Evelyn Makani from Kenya, People's, People's da Daily, third prize. Okay. So we go Hilary Oriandi from Kenya, first prize, standard media group for online category, East Africa. Hilary? Hi, it's okay. Uh, Hi, Hilary. How are you? Congratulations. How are you doing, Dr. Rasha? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. So, uh, Hilary. Yes. yes. Yes, please. Uh, I just wanted to say a big uh, congratulations to all the other participants who won various awards uh, in this uh, competition. Uh, just as my other Ugandan colleague, uh, Esther Oluka, said that uh, this is her first award. It's also my first award that I'm winning uh, in journalism, and I'm so proud about it. Uh, something interesting about uh, my stories that I submitted for the Corona for the award is, uh, while uh, most people probably submitted stories that were highlighting cases of, uh, or probably telling more about the coronavirus, I went in with the uh, fact checks because uh, if we know that uh, some of the very bad health information that have been flying around over the virus also really caused a lot of harm. So my stories were a series of fact checks uh, that really went uh, far and beyond to explain to people uh, what the virus was all about and trying to counter that uh, stream of misinformation uh, that was out there. And uh, I just wanted to say thank you for the award and uh, I hope to partner more with you in the near future. Of course, of course. Hilary, congratulations. Thank you very, very Thank you. much. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Rasha. <laughs> Thank you. Mr. Arnold uh, Koizira from Rwanda, CNBC, Africa. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, this, this award was like a little bit of icing on the cake for 
uh, me and uh, my team at CNBC Africa in terms of uh, coverage. We did, um, despite I being the leading producer and media anchor, uh, we did a total of about 200 stories over a period of two months, uh, all focused on COVID-19. And um, yeah, and it was generally um, just like uh, the other participants, they and uh, other award uh, winners have said misinformation was the main driver for this because there was a lot of uh, the need to fact check uh, people were in panic mode the need to comfort people but also the need to educate being in the business world to educate people that you know things like payment holidays that are being given as a result of COVID-19 don't necessarily mean that your loan has been taken away. So also that business angle, uh, uh, we had a loss, also a lot of leaders trying to put out as much information as possible. So we were an outlet uh, in terms of, you know, um, to this place is open, this is, you know, traveling is not safe in, the, in this way. Uh, maybe your loans uh, and during this holiday, how can you, uh play around understanding your financial needs in order to to combat and tackle uh the COVID-19 but also beyond uh this pandemic uh what next uh historical context was also very key for us um in regards to past pandemics that the world has had to deal with and how best uh those lessons from there could be put in place uh for the people to understand what next for the future so basically giving our viewers as uh, some form of comfort tools uh, in regards to tackling uh, the effects uh, of the COVID-19 pandemic. Thank you very much, Mr. Arnold, and uh, congratulations. Thank uh, you. Well. Again. <laughs> Mr. Jeffrey Kamadi from Kenya, Scientific African. Okay, thank you so much. So, first of all, I'd like to congratulate all the winners. And of course, congratulate you, Dr. Kelej also. Yeah. for your new senatorship <laughs> uh, position that you've been uh, given by your government. Thank you. So, it, it, so it's, a, it's an honor to be, uh, to be recognized by such an important organization as uh, the Mark Foundation. Mm -hmm. And uh, this, this will uh, greatly inspire not, ju not, not just me, but um, other colleagues of mine also uh, to keep pushing forward and to keep uh, doing uh, great uh, stories. And um, I'm really looking forward to the master's class program that I, oh, uh, that will be, yeah, that will be involved in uh, in the coming uh, days and in the coming weeks. Yeah. So I'm really, really honored to be here, and I, I'm sure we'll be working together moving forward. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Mr. Jeffrey. Thank you, and congratulations again. So we go to the multimedia uh, first prize winner, uh, Mashirima from Kenya Citizen TV. Congratulations. To congratulations. congratulations to you, Dr. Rasha, Senator Rasha. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Congratulations to you. For me to get this recognition, being declared winner in East Africa alongside Dorcas Wangira is no mean feat. First of all, I would not be here today were it not for Dorcas, who insisted oh. that I should participate. Oh, great. Um, this story on gender-based violence that I submitted during this COVID-19 pandemic was an eye-opener for me. It gave me the opportunity to see firsthand oh, the oh. impact of staying home for thousands, perhaps millions of families who depend on casual labor for their daily bread. What that lack can do to the mental health of the parents and what that can do to the children. Because the story I submitted was about a lady who had uh, gone to report her husband uh, yeah. to the chief uh, because he, the husband had hurt uh, their son. And she had also gone through domestic violence, but she sort of seemed to understand that her husband is going through a rough time as, uh, as so many people are going through right now. But when her child was affected, then she felt that um, she has to be the one to protect him. And I guess for me, it is the thought that many governments um, decided to make sure that people are safe by staying home, but they really did not keep in mind those living in single rooms 
the people who really come from poor backgrounds and who are a long way from their rural homes uh, with almost nowhere to turn to. Okay, okay. So uh, as I was saying, um, this for me, um, it gave me an opportunity to see how much uh, staying home for poor families, how much it affected their mental health. Because for most of us who are perhaps middle class, uh, we can we can buy food, we can work from home, we can join in meetings like we're doing now virtually. But for the poor families who depend on casual labor, there's nowhere to 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 earn money to buy food for their families. Yeah. There's nowhere to, to go to to relax, perhaps even outside where you have some greenery. Uh, to just sit and, and have some fresh air. So for me, I felt like governments need to also think a bit harder when they're coming up with policies uh, to, to think about the implementation. How will such policies keep people safe, but at the same time, make it easier for those from poor backgrounds? So one thing I'm looking forward to is the online masterclass. I cannot wait for that. I, I I had told Dorcas that I had been thinking of going back to school, but I kept thinking, how, where do I start? So this recognition for me is, is amazing, but the masterclass is what I'm looking forward to even more. So thank you so much. Thank you. And thank you, thank you Masharima. I hope that everyone in Ayani benefit from this masterclass because it's self-learning. You just pull the materials from, from, on, from the online and watch and see. And So I think this will be great. I already benefited from it for four months now and I will continue. So maybe we can share our knowledge after that on the WhatsApp group. That's why I created that one. Thank you very much and congratulations. Congratulations. And now we go to your uh, favorite person, uh, Mrs. Dorcas uh, Wangira, <laughs> was also the first prize winner uh, from Kenya Citizen TV. I think Dorcas also you won before with us another award in 2017, and this is the second time. So uh, uh, congratulations from Kenya Citizen TV. Dorcas? Okay, you can hear me? Yes, 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 we can hear you. Congratulations. Uh, merci. Um, I'd like to say a big congratulations, felicitations, and muitos parabéns for our Portuguese friends. And congratulations to you, Dr. Okay. Rasha Kelej. Okay. Um, it's been amazing. I've just been following on your journey with Mark since 2015, I think, and I think you're yeah. doing a remarkable job. Thank and, you. Um, um, I'm very proud of Mashirima, very, very proud of her. She's an amazing storyteller. And when I, I saw the work she put into her story, I was like, this is a beautiful story. And um, I think that's the whole essence of, of being together. I mean, Africa is such a repository for excellence, for talent and great storytelling. True, true. Yes, true. so we have it's a just you take the opportunity and that is yes. <laughs> yes, and, and lastly, I'd like to say, um, this award means so much for me. It's my second book award, like you said. But why this one is special is because it looks at something that has affected the entire world. Um, we've had many journalists getting infected with COVID-19. And sometimes in the newsroom, it can be very depressing covering these stories. So I'm um, having to look at mental health, not just for the people who tell their stories, mm -hmm. but also ourselves is very, very important. I'm really looking forward to the master class. Like Mashrim, I also want to go back to school. <laughs> so um, it's it's something really, really important. And I look forward to also collaborating with other journalists. And maybe just a request, would it be possible to have a link to everyone else's story so that we can also see what the other stories were and what they are they are about? Oh yes, yeah, so we will we will do that on the we actually we're doing it on the social media. So you will okay. We selected someone, we just share it on our social media. But of course, we will do that. Perfectly. Yeah, brilliant. Thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you very, very much, Dorcas. Thank you. So now a second award winner, uh, Daniel uh, Siba Kiji from Uganda, NBC TV. Yeah, hi. 
You mentioned the countries you've been to and the first things you work with and I didn't hear Uganda. I hope I hope you're coming soon. Yes, 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 I will. After yeah. all this finish, I have to. You know that I always come to Uganda and Kenya. This is for sure uh, once or twice a wow. year. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> now, well, so uh, first of all, I'm, I'm very, very honored to be a part of this, be, be joining this magnificent alumni. It's a foundation I read about extensively. And I think, you know, you have uh, such a brilliant cause you're pushing for, but on um, the award, I mean, it's it's so satisfying, you know. When we, we journalists do not really get paid a lot of money, I think the satisfaction we get in doing is, is, is having our stories appreciated, having our stories, you know, make that impact. It's not about money. It's not about anything. It's about the impact. When you do a story, you want to be appreciated. And for me, for my story, it's what. But it's by the way, it's a, it was a sports story. I'm, I'm I'm sure I'm one of the, I'm, I'm, I might be the only one who had a sports story in here. Uh, but you know, but so for me, for my story to be appreciated even outside Uganda is is a big uh, statement. It uh, it shows that we we have an impact. It shows we have a responsibility, even as sports journalists, to go on and you know, impact on the world and spread the story. It was at, at a time when the whole world was you know struggling and shaking. Who are not sure what was going to happen after the pandemic took off. And you know, if, 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 if my story had a contribution in calming people and helping people understand how they can stay safe, and I'm appreciated for it, I mean, it, it, it can never get better than that. I can only say thank you. Thank I, you very I, much. Probably thank a, you, Daniel. a request is uh, I, I didn't, uh, my network was a bit sketchy when you spoke about the yes. master class. I didn't get the details of the master class and how to join it and when it starts and all. Maybe we will connect with you on email. We will, we will. Oh, awesome. Everything will be on email, Daniel. Don't worry, don't worry. Thank you awesome. very much. Congratulations, congratulations again. Okay, we will go now sure. to uh, the French-speaking countries, and uh, here we will uh, need translation. So uh, the translation should be ready. Congratulations. Okay, Steve, uh, thank you very much, Doctor. I also congratulate you. So since I belong to a French uh, country. Uh, which uh, has uh, English as a second language. I'm going to do my presentation in French. Very good. Congratulations okay. and uh, yes, you can you can talk now for one minute okay. so we can catch up with yes. Merci beaucoup. Donc je félicite aussi la fondation Marc pour l'initiative de l'espoir dans les médias a pas impacté positivement donc le métier de journaliste ici au Niger. Puisque je m'en vais vous rappeler, n'est-ce pas, que la pandémie de Covid-19, n'est-ce pas, donc a été tout d'abord mal comprise, n'est-ce pas, par un grand nombre de nos concitoyens. Et on devrait passer par la sensibilisation. Le président de la République l'avait dit. Et la première dame avait aussi mené des fois des actions de sensibilisation pour que euh, tous les citoyens puissent comprendre l'existence, la réalité, le pas de cette maladie. C'est dans ce sens que nous sommes engagés, nous donc médias, donc euh, avec comme commission euh, d'information euh, donc à donner au public. Il faudrait qu'on donne la bonne information au public parce que c'est ce qui nous a mené, n'est-ce pas, à faire beaucoup de reportages. Donc, euh, l'un de ces reportages a été déjà primé par votre fondation. Et on vous dit aussi merci encore, merci pour tout ce que vous faites et même euh, leur capacité de vous donner de temps en temps euh, via les ateliers et aussi les cours de master qui vont bientôt venir. Et je me dis que euh, ce que vous êtes en train de faire, ça a beaucoup aidé et ça a même réduit significativement donc, les cas de, 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 de malades, n'est-ce pas, donc de Covid-19. Parce qu'avec la sensibilisation, beaucoup de gens ont pu se protéger, sont restés chez eux et ils n'ont pas pu, euh, euh, n'est-ce pas, aller contacter la maladie ailleurs. Et donc, moi, je pense que c'est vous qu'il faut féliciter. Merci beaucoup pour tout ce que vous faites. Thank you. So uh, now, uh, thank you, Mrs. Mr. So, thank you very much, Mr. Isa, and congratulations. Hello, Mr. Abdelaziz. How are you? Alhamdulillah. 
D'abord, je tiens à vous remercier pour et au-delà du prix, je tiens vraiment à remercier la Fondation Merck pour cette opportunité de connecter des journalistes des quatre coins de, de, de l'Afrique, de l'Afrique australe, de l'Est de l'Afrique, de l'Afrique de l'Ouest ou du Nord de l'Afrique. Et, et je suis doublement honoré de représenter non seulement la Tunisie, mais aussi l'Afrique du Nord, de l'Égypte et jusqu'au Maroc. Donc c'est un honneur pour moi de, de figurer parmi ces... C'est ce parterre de, de journalistes prometteurs et professionnels et expérimentés. Et pour ce qui est de la couverture du coronavirus et de la pandémie, euh, ce prix, c'est une, une motivation supplémentaire pour continuer sur ce chemin, sur le chemin de la sensibilisation. Car par exemple, en Tunisie, lors de la première vague du, du SARS-CoV-2, euh, les Tunisiens ne se sentaient pas très concernés vu que la Tunisie était plus ou moins épargnée euh, avec la, les mesures prises par le gouvernement et la fermeture des frontières. Mais là, avec la deuxième vague, on commence à accuser un tout petit peu le coup. Et ici, si, lors de la première vague, on essayait de sensibiliser les gens de faire la différence entre le virus et la maladie engendrée par ce virus, car il y a une grande différence entre le nouveau coronavirus et la, et la COVID-19. Ça, il faut, il faut bien préciser les mots et le choix des mots et, et, et sensibiliser les gens sur les gestes barrières, la distanciation sociale. C'est le rôle du journaliste. Malheureusement, dans, les, dans, dans, dans des pays comme la Tunisie, l'Égypte, la Libye, l'Algérie, le Maroc, c'est du point de vue culturel. Les gestes barrières et la distanciation sociale, ce n'est pas très imprégné dans l'esprit des gens. Par exemple, dans la deuxième vague du coronavirus, nous avons des cafés qui sont très bandés, que ce soit au Caire, que ce soit en, en Tunisie, que ce soit en Algérie, et les gens n'arrivent pas à comprendre euh, la dangerosité du, de, et, et le danger d'un du, 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 virus comme, comme le, le SARS-CoV-2. Et même si on sensibilise les gens à travers la télé, à travers la radio, à travers la presse écrite, la presse en ligne, les gens ne restent toujours un tout petit peu euh, accroché à l'idée que Dieu, s'il veut, il va nous épargner. Donc il y a toujours le côté spirituel qui, qui, donne, qui donne une sorte de protection pour les gens, alors qu'en réalité, ça, on parle d'un virus, un virus qui, qui est en train de tuer des gens, qui est en train de provoquer des complications respiratoires, des, 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 des détresses de respiration. Et malgré le travail qu'on fournit, on sent que les gens ils ne, ils ne sont pas très conscients de la gravité de la situation. Et il y a un autre facteur que j'aimerais bien aborder, c'est le problème économique dans les pays. Un pays comme la Tunisie, euh, il passe par une crise économique. Donc euh, il y a un grand dilemme entre la fermeture et entre euh, mettre sous cloche un pays, c'est-à-dire confiné ou bien reconfiné, ce n'est pas facile pour des pays comme la Tunisie ou bien pour la plupart des pays africains. Car il y a beaucoup de gens qui travaillent sans contrat, il y a des freelances, il y a des gens qui, 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 sont, qui sont dans une situation très précaire. Donc, confiner un pays en Europe ou bien aux États-Unis, c'est faisable vu le niveau de vie, mais confiner des pays comme euh, des pays africains ou bien des pays de, de l'Afrique du Nord, c'est un, un véritable casse-tête euh, chinois et c'est ça, ça le vrai problème. C'est que ici, on, on ordonne au café de fermer. Mais le, le, les syndicats des cafés et le corporatisme, ils poussent pour que le café reste ouvert. Et donc, on n'arrive pas vraiment à, à trouver euh, le juste milieu entre euh, protéger les gens contre cette maladie et aider les gens à faire face à, euh, contre cette maladie du point de vue économique et social. C'est ça le vrai problème. Donc, pour moi, ce prix, c'est une, une autre motivation pour continuer sur ce chemin de sensibilisation et d'essayer d'aiguiller les gens vers les bonnes pratiques, surtout de respecter les gestes barrières et la distanciation sociale. Si par exemple on vient de nous informer qu'il y a un, un, un vaccin prometteur 
qui commence à, à, à pointer un tout, plus, un tout petit peu le nez, mais on sait très bien que pour que ce vaccin soit commercialisé, il y a encore, il y a encore du, du temps et des années à, à venir. Pour le moment, seuls les gestes barrières et la distanciation sociale, c'est notre seul salut. Merci beaucoup et c'est un grand plaisir de partager ce petit moment avec vous. Et encore une fois, merci beaucoup, oui. merci beaucoup de m'avoir donné l'opportunité de représenter la région de l'Afrique du Nord. Certes, je suis le seul journaliste parmi, parmi, parmi les journalistes de, de l'Afrique du Nord, mais c'est un... Merci. merci beaucoup. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Abdelaziz, Ali. Uh, thank you very, very much and congratulations again. Good afternoon. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I want to start by saying congratulations to the other winners across the African continent. Congratulations to you, Madam, on your senatorial appointment. Uh, due to the fact that Cameroon is bilingual, I'm going to speak in, in English. Fantastic. First of all, I want to say thank you for yeah, thank you for this uh, award. It's not been easy. I think the award shows that the work that I as a journalist and other journalists in Cameroon have been doing in order to educate the population about the coronavirus pandemic. You know, especially specifically in terms of uh, Boya, where I'm presently now, the Southwest region, that's been going through problems for the past four years. I think most of us know what we call the Anglophone crisis, where many people have been killed with respect to the Southwest region and the Northwest region. And there's been this misconception when COVID-19, first of all, was uh, witnessed in Cameroon in March, where many think that it was a government effort to I try to maybe kill other personalities in the Southwest region and the Northwest region. So journalists in the Southwest were a good opportunity to make sure that they educate the population on what the coronavirus pandemic is all about and how they can prevent the, uh, prevent themselves from catching uh, this coronavirus. I think we've done a lot. Uh, the, the virus in Boya, Southwest has dropped down a bit. But the worry aspect at the moment is the fact that most people still see a wearing of masks as an issue. You walk around the street, you see people without masks in gatherings of 150 persons and without masks. So we've been trying our best to make sure that we educate the population about what the coronavirus pandemic is and how people can prevent it uh, from going to themselves and of course their family. So thank you for the award and also look forward to working with you with respect to other aspects with respect to what the foundation, the May Foundation is doing and also look forward to uh, the masterclass. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Forrest, and congratulations again. Okay, Burima from Burkina Faso, first prize winner from Radio Category Raj Fouadou Bison. Bison. Borima? Oui, bonjour. Bonjour. Est-ce que vous me recevez? Great. Thank you. You listen me? Borima, yes. Ok, thank you. Je vais aller en français. Yeah, so please translation, ready? Yes, ok, thank yes. you very much. Yes, yes. C'est pour dire que euh, je tiens à féliciter la Fondation Merck voilà, pour cette initiative. C'est une initiative qui est louable et c'est très important pour les communautés comme les nôtres. Voilà. Vous savez que le Burkina Faso est un pays euh, analphabète. Voilà, 80% de la population burkinabé est analphabète. Donc la radio joue un rôle très important dans la sensibilisation dans l'information et la formation des populations Burkinabé. Une population à 80% analphabète, c'est très important que la radio joue sa partition. Et la COVID-19 est apparue au Burkina Faso le 9 mars 2020. Et à partir de ça, nous, en tant que radio communautaire, radio de proximité, Nous nous sommes engagés à produire des émissions, des micro-programmes, des sports, des émissions table ronde avec les experts, des, les médecins, les infectiologues. Comment se manifeste la maladie Et encore, informer la population sur la nécessité de se protéger. C'est une maladie qui est nouvelle. 
n'est pas une maladie que l'Afrique connaissait auparavant. Donc, les mesures édictées par les autorités et les agents de santé sont très importantes. Donc, c'est ça que nous, on a pris comme rôle de sensibilisation auprès de nos communautés. Et vous savez que le Burkina Faso traverse actuellement une crise et sécuritaire. Il y a également le déplacement massif de la population. Il y a des déplacés internes. Donc, ça devient plus complexe pour le Burkina de sensibiliser en même temps les moyens, voilà, leur doter de tout ce qu'il faut pour pouvoir barrer la route à cette maladie-là. Donc, euh, nous, en tant que radio communautaire, nous travaillons voilà, sans relâche pour que les populations, à la base, soient sensibilisées, surtout le respect des mesures barrières. Voilà. Vous savez qu'il euh, y a cette pauvreté aussi qui est là. Il y a eu la quarantaine. Voilà, les marchés étaient entre-temps fermés. Donc, comment les gens arrivaient à vivre avec tout ça Mais maintenant, c'est pour dire que on peut vivre avec la maladie. On peut vivre avec le coronavirus en respectant ces mesures barrières édictées. Et voilà notre rôle en tant que média, en tant que journaliste. Et même avec euh, euh, le reportage que j'ai postulé avec, c'est sur les fake news. En Afrique, les gens thank disent you. que voilà, il y a le soleil. Thank oui, you. Une... thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Merci. C'est bon. Thank you. Thank Merci. you very much, Mr. Borima. Congratulations. And we're really Merci. happy to have you with us as Merck Foundation alumni. And the only journalist now we have from Burkina Faso, but I will be in contact with you to establish our network as well. Thank you. Training. Yes, great. Yes. Uh, now we have the uh, uh, second prize winner for radio category for French speaking countries. Uh, uh, Mokwi uh, Wilson from Cameroon, from Cameroon Radio Television. Hello. Hello, can you hear yes, me? Yes, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Thank you very much. Congratulations, congratulations. Thank you. I'm really very proud to be part of this and uh, I want to thank mm -hmm. the Black team for, you know, making us giving us the opportunity to express ourselves and to present our work. And also to all the winners, I say congratulations. And congratulations to you, to Dr. Rasha, for your award. You. I want to be like you when I grow up. You know, you inspire me in so many ways. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, my, my work was on COVID-19 and mental health because uh, the COVID really took a toll on me. Uh, when it started, I got stuck in another continent, the US. And I couldn't come back to join my family for about three months. So I had so many mental challenges. And so when I had the opportunity to do a story, I said, I'm going to do a story where that I can relate with. So it was easy for me to, you know, get into the shoes of the population and what they're going through and to express, you know, myself and have, ask, ask the right, right questions to the, to the health uh, personnel who, who I worked with. So I want to say thank you again. And I'm no, looking no, forward no, to the no, no. next good night. And I'm hoping that we can do so many other things together because uh, um, we can make interesting Borima, Borima, you have to unmute yourself. It's okay. Can you unmute yourself and go Unmute yeah. yourself. Yes, yes. So uh, I'll be working with Merck, Merck Sister on 18 during the Infertility uh, Media Award in Kenya. And so yeah. I'm very proud to continue this journey, and I'm sure that as a year go by, we will. Things together. Thank you, Thank and you. congratulations, big, big congratulations. Thank you very Thank much. You very much. Yes, sir. Hello, hi. Hello. Hello, hi. 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 Congratulations. I'm Liz, uh, congratulations. Yes, uh, thank you. I'm Elise Madasanel. I'm from Madagascar. I speak in French. Uh, <laughs> yes, please. We I'm have the translation. Uh, Translation yes. will come. Yes. Bonjour à tous, bonjour à la Fondation Merck. Je suis Elise Mandassanila de Madagascar. Uh, merci beaucoup pour le prix. I have come uh, 
euh, pendant euh, la période de coronavirus, c'est une occasion pour moi de présenter mon pays, Madagascar, c'est une grande ville à l'est de l'Afrique. Et c'est la première participation sur le continent africain et grâce à la Fondation Merck, j'ai été sélectionné par, parmi les gagnants et je tiens à me remercier à l'organisateur et c'est une occasion pour moi de euh, raconter les, les histoires durant la, corona, la période de COVID-19 en Madagascar. C'est pour raconter la vie des agents de nettoyage les agents de nettoyage de la voirie qui a été réquisitionné durant la période de Covid-19 alors que ces gens-là n'ont pas de matériel, n'ont pas de des équipements individuels pour se protéger de, de, la, de la coronavirus. Et c'est ainsi que j'ai raconté l'histoire dans notre page, l'Express de Madagascar. Et je n'ai pas beaucoup de choses à dire parce que c'est grâce à la Fondation Merck que l'histoire a été à rapporter au niveau de, de, du continent africain parmi les histoires importantes durant la période du Covid-19. Et encore merci à la Fondation Merck de m'avoir donné l'opportunité d'aller de, de, de l'avant dans le journalisme africain. Et merci beaucoup à tous. Merci. Thank you. Thank you, Elsie. Thank you. Congratulations again. And we will be connecting with you also regarding Madagascar. Thank you very, very much. So now we have, I think we have um, uh, Bahwa uh, Ferdinand from Burundi came back, uh, who is the third winner for the Le Journal Africa online. Oui, bonjour, je suis là. Hello. Uh, oui. Yes, we can hear you. Congratulations. Ok, merci. Euh, juste, je suis Ba Ferdinand de Burundi, comme vous l'avez bien dit. Je suis journaliste du journal Africa. Euh, J'ai écrit des articles sur la COVID-19 avant que euh, ce virus soit donc euh, euh, vie ici chez nous, bien avant que le ministère de, de la santé publique et de la lutte contre le sida puisse pro, euh, proclamer les premiers cas testés euh, positifs. C'était avant avril, là où j'ai commencé à écrire. Et à ce temps-là, dès qu'on a proclamé les premiers cas, et la population burundaise a, a été prise par les pères. Donc, on fait, on, fait, on fait un fond de l'air qu'il y avait de la paix et tout le monde a, vu, a, trouvé, a cherché les moyens pour se faire euh, donc, protéger par ces virus. Et par après, ils, ils ont pris tout ce qu'il fallait prendre euh, afin de se protéger. Alors, il, il, il a fallu qu'il y ait au moins un cadre directionnel, c'est-à-dire qu'il faut qu'il y ait des des messages apaisants à la population, essayer un peu de, de donner une ligne directrice à cette population. C'est pour cela que d'un euh, quatre matin, j'ai vu votre, euh, votre message de, de fondation sur les réseaux sociaux, bien sur le les site web de cette fondation. Et par après, je dis vraiment, c'est une occasion pour moi d'essayer un peu de sensibiliser ce n'est pas seulement les Burundi, mais aussi toute l'Afrique entière. Alors, ça, ça a été plaisir pour moi d'être euh, lauréat du prix. Et par après, j'ai dit non, euh, à ces temps-ci, c'est une occasion de travailler avec cette fondation, euh, de, de donner assez de messages à toute l'Afrique. Essayer un peu de sensibiliser sur le changement de mentalité. Congratulations, congratulations, Mr. Oui. Fruish. Next time we will have more applicants. So now we have uh, uh, came back to us is uh, the Mr. Salisu Kaka from Niger. Is the first award winner for the online category. Uh, sorry, for radio category. Mr. Uh, Salisu Kaka, are you here from uh, Niger? Oh, je suis là. Yes, yes, hello, bonjour. Congratulations. 
Merci, merci beaucoup. Donc, euh, je m'appelle Salis Sukaka. Je suis journaliste à la radio-télévision Saronia du Niger. Et je suis actuellement aussi correspondant de Deutsche Welle, la Voix de l'Allemagne. Et je remercie la Fondation Merck pour ce prix. Et ce prix qui honore tout le Niger parce que nous sommes deux qui ont représenté le Niger. Nous avons vraiment représenté le Niger par rapport aux œuvres que nous avons présentées. Euh, moi, j'ai présenté un reportage euh, sur, euh, le, pendant la période du confinement où je me suis intéressé à, parce que quand les écoles et les mosquées étaient fermées, donc moi je me suis intéressé à, à, à faire connaître aux gens comment les chrétiens à, continuent à, à faire à, à leur religion parce que les églises sont fermées. Donc je me suis intéressé, j'ai fait un reportage vraiment qui a fait ressortir un peu et comment et cette communauté chrétienne s'est confinée et comment et elle a pu continuer à partir de la maison ou à partir des réseaux internet à publier des informations à, sur leur religion à, à, à l'endroit de leurs adhérents et autres. Donc c'est ce reportage-là qui m'a valu ce prix-là que j'ai gagné et je suis très fier euh, je suis très content et j'espère, euh, puisque pour ceux qui me connaissent, ce n'est pas le premier prix, ça c'est à peu près le cinquième ou le sixième prix que j'ai gagné dans le journalisme. Donc, euh, pour vous dire que chaque fois, nous sommes sur notre métier de journalisme et nous continuons à sensibiliser notre population, surtout cette pandémie. Euh, qui a vraiment bouleversé le monde, si on peut le dire, et notre pays vraiment euh, n'était pas en marche. Donc vraiment, nous avons fait comprendre à la population qu'il faut se protéger en utilisant les mesures barrières. Les mesures barrières, se protéger, il n'y a pas de vaccin, il n'y a rien d'autre que se protéger, prendre des distances et respecter les mesures que le ministère en charge de la santé a donné comme instruction. Donc voilà, c'est un peu ça. Euh, je suis très fier du travail aussi avec la Fondation Merck et j'espère continuer. Et je ne suis pas anglophone, nous avons des difficultés vraiment à échanger, et, mais grâce à, vraiment à cette technologie-là qui permet à nous, ceux qui nous écoutent d'entendre ce que nous disons. Il euh, y a des gens qui parlent anglais, nous nous parlons le français, mais ça n'a pas empêché en tout cas à euh, à ce qu'on intervienne dans cette euh, conférence où il y a des gens qui ont, ceux qui parlent le français et ceux qui parlent l'anglais. J'espère que euh, c'est vraiment un grand rendez-vous ici, euh, un rendez-vous d'échange. Euh, je vois des gens qui sont là en train de me regarder. J'ai fait beaucoup d'amis. Euh, Docteur Kalej, merci, merci aussi à votre fondation. Merci aussi à la première dame du Niger euh, qui représente aussi notre pays. Euh, merci beaucoup. J'espère revenir aussi encore pour euh, donner d'autres explications par rapport à ce que nous faisons en tant que journalistes pour sensibiliser nos populations par rapport à cette pandémie et bien d'autres. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very, very much, Mr. Saliso. Congratulations again and send my regards to the First Lady of Niger, my dear friend and ambassador Merci. of Merck more than a mother, uh, Madame Merci. Ashata uh, uh, Mohamedou. Uh, thank you very much. So uh, I want also, uh, after I we'll go now to Portuguese the speaking countries, winners, uh, I want to remind you, or I ask you, actually not to remind you, I ask you uh, for a favor. On our, our WhatsApp group, I want the um, the best chefs, chefs who cook in each country. So I want the names, contacts of the, the best chefs in each country. I have an idea for uh, something and I want to uh, pursue that. So we'll 
we'll take it forward in our uh, WhatsApp group. So now we are going to uh, the uh, Portuguese speaking countries, uh, African countries winners. And I want to uh, call Mr. Cesar Silveria, uh, Silveria from Angola for uh, Valor Economico, uh, who is the first award winner for Brent. Mr. Cesar? Okay. Uh, antes, uh, gostaria de Congratulations. Boa tarde a todos, né? Antes gostaria de felicitar a Fundação pela pela organização do prêmio e, e, e sobretudo pela, pela organização do evento, né? Por ter conseguido termos aqui todos a esta hora, isso mostra a, a força, a organização da, da, da Fundação. É... Organização essa que me leva me leva a acreditar que a fundação pode pode ser usada aqui com as devidas aspas para outros trabalhos né que para a integração por exemplo do, do continente outros desafios do continente como é o da integração pois porque não são muitas organizações hoje que conseguem é, por aqui 35 pessoas de, de diferentes países Começaria por isso por felicitar a, a Fundação. É, depois, é, fica também já aqui a minha promessa para trabalhar. Sei que não, não receberam muitos, muitas propostas de Angola. Fica aqui a minha promessa de trabalhar para, para as próximas vezes, para ajudar para que nas próximas vezes o cenário seja diferente, né? para que possamos ser muitos a, a, a concorrer. Fora isso, pronto, como, <risos> como devem ter visto, né, todo o meu jornal, na verdade, é um jornal de economia, daí o nome Valor Econômico, é um jornal de especialidade. É, no entanto, quando essa pandemia, quando registraram os primeiros casos em Angola, nós decidimos propositadamente criar, dedicar duas páginas todas as semanas para a pandemia. É, longe até ainda de, de saber da existência do prêmio. Isso foi uma decisão nossa para que pudéssemos acompanhar a pandemia, para que é. pudéssemos ajudar no, como fosse possível. Né? Não queríamos ficar de par. É, é, até a altura que nos apercebemos do prêmio, que nos apercebemos que estávamos a ser acompanhados, e, e, e então decidimos participar. <risos> uh, participamos, na verdade, nem, 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 nem muitos não havia muita esperança de, de que seríamos vencedores, né? Mas pronto, é sempre um prêmio bem-vindo, né? E já agradecemos, a equipa agradece, <risos> porque é sempre um prêmio, é sempre um reconhecimento. É, fora isso, acho, fica aqui o meu desafio, pois como já disse no início, fica o meu desafio à, à Fundação para aproveitar essa essa organização que tem, esse networking que tem, para para outros desafios do continente, né? sobretudo da integração. Hoje, hoje é, é, mais facilmente o, o africano viaja para a Europa, para a América, mas aqui entre nós né é, é, é ainda um desafio muito grande. É, mais facilmente é, vemos nos nossos jornais abordarem temas sobre Portugal, sobre os Estados Unidos, e cá entre nós quase que não temos nada de nossos jornais. É, dificilmente tenho matérias, por exemplo, da Nigéria, do Ghana, mas todas as semanas tenho matéria de, de países europeus, de países americanos. Acompanhamos todos com muita atenção, pronto, com, com as razões que conhecemos, as eleições dos Estados Unidos, mas quando as eleições estão a acontecer aqui nos nossos países, certamente não acompanhamos com a mesma dedicação. Então, acho que organizações como, como a Fundação Merkel têm cá um trabalho, podem contribuir para que nós, os jornalistas, possamos passar a, a nos dedicar mais para os trabalhos do nosso continente. Pois, dito isso, resta-nos a felicitar, agradecer pela, pelo prêmio e, como já disse, prometer apoiar naquilo que for possível para que a Fundação seja mais conhecida aqui em Angola. 
Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Sidar. Congratulations again. But I want to connect with you offline regarding this idea of integration. I want to understand what exactly can be done from your point of view. I have a few ideas in my mind. I started with the foundation itself where we everything we do we translate automatically english french portuguese and we distribute uh, on our, all our outlets in the website and everything uh, but i want to uh, to know more with, from you how can we um, do this integration uh, i started uh, earlier something called one africa where is uh, we like you said I noticed that the disconnection between the countries from the north to the south, west and, and, and east, uh, even the duplication of initiatives and so on. So I want to uh, discuss that with you. And of course, it's even bigger and shows more in Portuguese speaking countries than French speaking countries, let alone the countries who speak the same language also. So uh, uh, so I have ideas and I want to get your ideas as well and any ideas from the audience and our Mac Foundation alumni on how uh, we approach One Africa uh, and um, the integration. It's very important for me as well. Aspect. Muito obrigado. Muito obrigado. Muito obrigado por fazer parte desta família. Uh, dar os meus parabéns a todo o coletivo que teve a oportunidade de ser premiado. Uh, também os meus parabéns para a Merkel Foundation pela iniciativa de juntar toda a África em diferentes idiomas para juntos partilharmos as experiências uh, neste momento da pandemia. Permitam-me também, hoje é dia da minha cidade, a cidade de Maputo completa 133 anos de existência. Permitam-me dizer wow. parabéns à cidade das Acácias em Moçambique. Congratulations! Congratulations! Yes. Congratulations! Um, compreendo estamos com, com pouco tempo estou só estou a intervir Cornelio uh, estou à disposição para Consegue ouvir? Sim, eu, por exemplo, um, eu, eu, eu aventurei-me a este concurso uh, uh, quando tive a oportunidade, por exemplo, de ir, de ir, de ir visitar e a visitar uma campa da minha mãe no, num dos cemitérios aqui da cidade de Maputo. Quando eu vi o cenário que lá se mostrava, aquilo era muito penoso. Uh, o, 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 os rituais africanos, a proximidade, o calor africano, uh, a estética dos funerais africanos perdeu, perdeu a sua essência por causa, por causa da, da pandemia. A partir disso, comecei a, a escrever uma série de artigos de opinião, de sensibilização, de crítica social, mas também de, de consolidação e crítica aos fake news, porque uma das coisas que mais, mais periga a nossa sociedade são os fake news, as notícias falsas propaladas nestes, nestes dias que, 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 a pandemia, que a pandemia está a solar. Uh, muito obrigado, vou ceder este tempo para outros interesses. Estou a ver que muitos moçambicanos não estão a conseguir entrar, então vou permitir que eles possam conseguir. Abraços a todos vocês. Thank you very much. Thank you, Cornelio, and, Cornelio, and uh, congratulations. And now we go to the first award winner for multimedia, uh, Portuguese speaking countries, Mr. Abdul Rahman Al Fati Ibrahimu. Mr. Abdul Rahman. 
Hello. 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 Yes, TV Hello. Yes. 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 É, primeiro, a, um, agradecer à Fundação e à doutora Racha, não é? é pela, pela feliz e magnífico projeto não é? de, de juntar todos os jornalistas africanos. Bem, eu fiz essa matéria uh, no período, neste período do Covid-19 em relação à fisioterapia para as pessoas com deficiência a nível uh, da cidade de Maputo, uh, olhando que neste período da pandemia uh, poucas pessoas vão às unidades sanitárias. Então, fiz uh, contando história, como é que as pessoas com deficiência uh, podem fazer fisioterapia neste período da pandemia. A fisioterapia é muito importante para as pessoas com deficiência que, naturalmente, sofreram lesões medulares de várias ordem. Então, contei histórias de como as pessoas estão a fazer a fisioterapia neste momento um, da pandemia, as pessoas com deficiência neste caso. E olhando um, a parte da deficiência que um pouco pela África é pouco falado. Então recorda-se das pessoas com deficiência quando se trata do Dia Internacional da Pessoa com Deficiência, que é o dia 3 de dezembro. Portanto, sendo um, a TV Surdo, a TV Surdo é um programa que visa um, fazer um trabalho de advocacia que as pessoas com deficiência seja cada vez mais valorizadas, tenha espaço na sociedade moçambicana e não só. Esse projeto da TV Surdo, quem sabe, possa expandir para nível de todo o continente africano, porque visa sensibilizar os governantes, a sociedade no geral, que a pessoa com deficiência é útil e pode contribuir para o desenvolvimento do continente e também de África. Portanto, a TV Surdo é feito é, de jornalista todas com deficiência. Eu que estou a falar, é, sou um jornalista cadeirante. Então, é, é mostrar à sociedade que, afinal de contas, não, necess... não é por causa da deficiência que nós é, não podemos fazer um trabalho louvável e útil para a sociedade. Então, é, é com este trabalho que a Fundação, quem sabe, já disse a doutora Raj que quando vier a Maputo, é, visitar a TV Sur, não é? E quem sabe podemos trabalhar é, nesta, nesta, nesta banda de advocacia em prol é, da área da deficiência, não só para Moçambique, quem sabe para a nível de África. Mais uma vez, muito obrigado pela, pelo estímulo que tem dado aos jornalistas, especialmente para a TV Sur. Obrigado. Thank you, thank you very much, Mr. Abdul Rahman. I want to tell you, I, I wanted to do an initiative for uh, this able, but I was surprised that there is no society, a credible society for this able, uh, uh, disability in each country. So I couldn't find the society that I can work with. So this is, was in Kenya and uh, I started in Kenya and then I looked somewhere else and so on. So um, maybe this is something that uh, can be advocate for first to have a society because uh, in some countries, like for example, uh, in, in many of the countries uh, in the develop, develop, developed world, they have societies for disabled so they can have the, the, the names of the people who need, who need the wheelchair, who need the prosthetic, who can do this, who can do that. There is nothing like this. So the data and the, 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 the whole umbrella is not there. So you have to go and look for individuals. And it's very difficult for any global fund or any global society, uh, foundation want to uh, address this. So uh, we will talk about this later, maybe offline. Um, now the second uh, prize was uh, Bas Basquial uh, Malati, Mozambique. Television de Mozambique, the first second prize winner for Media Cognition Award Multimedia. Hello, hi, hi, good afternoon. Congratulations, yes, we can, very well. Muito obrigado, thank you. Olha, uh, primeiro eu queria, queria dedicar este prémio um, a todas as pessoas uh, que padecem da Covid-19 e uma homenagem aos perecidos, afinal de contas é uma doença planetária que está a ceifar vidas e nós como jornalistas temos esse papel importante de transmitir e de influenciar as pessoas com mensagens positivas 
sobre a necessidade de elas se precaverem desta doença. A minha reportagem foi no contexto, digamos, de aglomerado populacional que era possível avistar ao longo ao longo da circular de Maputo, aqui na nossa capital, onde as pessoas não seguiam ou não obedeciam aquilo que eram as regras decretadas no estado de emergência. Entretanto, a reportagem foi muito boa, de certa forma ajudou a consciencializar as pessoas sobre a necessidade de elas ficarem em casa, dói sim, mas é muito importante, era muito importante que as pessoas ficassem em casa para evitarmos a propagação da doença. Entretanto, este foi o meu contributo, o contributo de Moçambique, e quando nós fizemos essa reportagem, a nossa expectativa não era concorrer a nenhum prêmio, mas felizmente a... a a Merck Foundation apareceu e pediu eh, que nós concorrêssemos e, de certa forma, eh, apresentássemos aquilo que eram as nossas ideias do ponto de vista eh, daquilo que é a sensibilização para o combate à Covid-19. Só para terminar, queria agradecer imensamente a esta fundação, uma fundação muito séria. Eh, nós só ouvíamos falar, mas não sabíamos eh, que ela podia, de certa forma, contribuir. E quero eh, aqui aproveitar e informar a doutora Rasch que, eh, com esta iniciativa, os jornalistas sentiram-se mais motivados a transmitirem essas mensagens muito importantes para a redução do número de casos em África. Se puder ver, a denotar que a África está com o menor número de casos em relação aos outros continentes, em parte graças a esta iniciativa. Muito obrigado. Thank you, thank you very much, Mr. Vasqual. And I would like also to uh, retaliate that besides this initiative, we have done another initiative of training doctors on uh, giving them one year diploma in respiratory medicine and acute care medicine. So for IC units. So we trained across Africa around 20, uh, 25 uh, each. Anyone 25 for respiratory, 25 or 22 for acute uh, medicine. Uh, plus, of course, all the other uh, specialty we have done before we created this specialty specifically for coronavirus. But me personally, I made a song, I directed it and produced it called uh, My White Army and it is um, uh, seen on, online and it is being sang in three language. But I struggled to, do, to find um, a, a singer in Portuguese as well. But now I had contact uh, of singers from Zambique and Angola, so we will contribute uh, next time. The language was Arabic, English, and French. So uh, now we go to Mr. After Mr. Oh, Mr. Mr. Please mute everyone and then unmute uh, the person who will talk. Mr. Germania Mondelani, Mozambique, Radio Mozambique. First prize winner for Radio's category. Uh, Mr. Germias Mendelani. Uh, muito obrigado. Não sei se consegue me ouvir. Okay. Não sei se consegue me ouvir. Yes, yes, yes. Consegue me ouvir? Uh, consegue me ouvir? Yes, yes, go yes, ahead. Yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. Consegue me ouvir? Go ahead, yes. Yes. Ah, uh, sim, sim. Uh, um, eu estou... You can hear, hear, yes, go ahead. Um, eu estou muito emocionado, porque depois de tantos anos de trabalho, tantos anos de tentar consciencializar as pessoas, sobre vários assuntos sociais, hoje vem este prémio. Este prémio é uma espécie de vitamina, é um prémio que diz, vai em frente, uh, nós estamos a ver, nós estamos a ouvir, nós queremos mais de si. E, e pronto, para dizer muito obrigado, primeiro à primeira dama que abriu, a primeira dama de Moçambique, Zora News, e ela abriu este horizonte para nós podermos concorrer 
eu nem sabia, eu vou fazendo meus trabalhos. E alguém disse, senhor, está a ver aquele quadro que está ali? É um concurso do gabinete da primeira dama, vai lá participar. Eu disse, oh, muito bem, obrigado, que sorte, vou meter alguma coisa. Ah, se ganhar, oh, pronto, ganhei, sim. mas pronto, terei pelo menos alguém que vai ouvir para além de Moçambique. Meus agradecimentos também para, para vocês, como fundação, porque vocês estão a fazer muito para Thank you. mudança. Thank you very much. Thank you. Para a mudança de comportamentos, mudança de atitude, porque um dos grandes problemas de tudo quanto nós fazemos é justamente a mudança de atitude. Uh, tudo pode acontecer, mas se as pessoas não mudarem de atitude, as coisas podemos fazer isto, fazer aquilo então e quero acreditar que com estas pequenas ações que nós vamos fazendo vão como uma gota numa pedra bater, bater até abrir o espaço na mentalidade das pessoas e eu acredito que todos somos preponderantes, todos nós somos importantes para para esta luta, por isso é que eu quero uma vez mais uh, agradecer e dizer que também quero participar neste Masterclass uh, falo um bocadinho de inglês e por fim também dizer também parabéns a si doutora, doutora Racha uh, por esta distinção uh, 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 a este cargo de senadora porque, de certa forma, para além do Egito, vai ajudar com o seu conhecimento a, a continentar alguns países, porque somos muitos os seus seguidores. Eu vi ali a lista oh. dos seguidores já. Eu também estou lá, né? Muito obrigado. Oh, muito great. obrigado. Yeah. Muito obrigado. Thank you, Mayas. And congratulations again. You deserve it after all these years of raising awareness and contributing to communities. Uh, and this will not going to be the last award. Thanks. Thank you very much. Congratulations. <laughs> so I have Mr. Nelson uh, my, uh, Minato from Mozambique, Radio Mozambique. Mr. Nelson? Uh, muito obrigado por esta oportunidade, não é? De poder falar num fórum como este. Uh, um fórum que uh, congrega, digamos, jornalistas de África, e, por sinal, renomados jornalistas. É um privilégio uh, fazer parte da lista dos vencedores. Uh, está de parabéns também à Mercer Foundation pela iniciativa, que, na verdade, emprestou-nos uh, algo precioso, não é? E nos fez, uh, por assim dizer, uh, Thank you. Thank you very much para mudarmos o estágio de coisas em relação ao Covid-19. Uh, foi uh, desafiante na medida em que nós tivemos algumas dificuldades, porque é um vírus novo e as pessoas não acreditavam uh, muito sobre esta pandemia, não é? no princípio, uh, por isso mesmo é que surgiram casos, por exemplo, de aumentos, aumento de casos de violência doméstica, Uh, porque as pessoas estavam em casa, confinadas, e foram surgindo vários outros problemas. Então, uh, foi importante uh, falar sobre isso uh, numa uh, reportagem, e espero ter uh, mudado, de certa forma, o comportamento das pessoas em relação, a, principalmente, a esta, a esta pandemia. Uh, muito obrigado, Eu vou uh, dar espaço uh, a outras pessoas. You're welcome. Thank you, Mr. Nelson. Congratulations. For, to the award committee for nominating me to be part of this award. It is a very useful feedback to me and it has inspired me. I didn't know I have I had such abilities 
and so it has inspired me to do more and i'm going to do more to uh, educate people on coronavirus and other issues so that uh, people would be educated and it will impact positively um to other people um when coronavirus came Ghana, Ghanaians are very religious we believe that god will protect us but um, later we realized that it was a very serious issue and so we had to take it serious so i i took the opportunity to do series of stories to educate people on hand washing wearing your face mask and all that so um i'm willing to do more and i would also like you to consider doing something on orphan children living with hiv there are a lot of them who are not being cared for you can consider doing something on that and then it would help all of us so thank you very much for this thank opportunity you. and thank I'm, you very much I'm, Emma. congratulations congratulations yeah, thank you very much thank you now the first award winner for uh, online media uh, for ghana albert Kutu, Kutu Kupor. From Ghana hello. hello albert hello yeah I'm good, I'm good i'm good thank you very much thank you very much. yes uh, I would like to first of all thank my foundation for this honor than me. You know, we have been doing my work as I'm supposed to do as journalist. And uh, when Corona came, actually last year I won uh, a lot of uh, awards internationally and locally on uh, water, sanitation, and hygiene. So my plan this year was to improve on that, to uh, do a lot of stories on the wash and health sectors. But Corona came and I had to quickly adapt because Corona is also about health and hygiene. So in Ghana, majority of rural dwellers don't have access to water. So my task was to educate them on how to, on how the local people in the rural areas can also wash their hands so that they can stay safe in this period of COVID-19. And that was what we were doing basically. And, and then the Met came in to recognize our efforts. So thank you very much for this, Sarah, and I look forward to Thank for you, Albert, and congratulations again. Congratulations. Thank you. So I would like to invite now for the winner of the second prize for Ghana Media Recognition Award, Stay at Home Award, Lydia uh, Kukoa from Ghana News Agency. Okay. Yeah, I'm excited about this award. In fact, it is my very, the very first time I'm participating in any such award. You know, over my uh, the period of practice journalism here in Ghana, and I, I must say I am very much on has awarded us. You no, know, honoring all journalists, about 85 journalists all over Africa. This is a massive thing that you've done for us, and it is serve as a booster. We we'll continue to partner, make especially in the upcoming master class. It is a great opportunity for us to learn more and to a partner make to promote the well-being of all Africans. Thank you, Meg. Thank you Thank so you. much. And I want to Thank congratulate you, you, Russia, for your appointment as a senator. <laughs> you are doing a yeoman's job, and and uh, we will, we are ready to partner your foundation. Thank to promote you. the well-being of all Africans. Thanks so Thank much. Thank you, Lydia. Thank you very, very much. Lydia, you know, it's 85 winners from Africa this year. But uh, in okay. total, uh, from when, when we started, it's 162. So 162 winners from 2017, 2019, and uh, this year. Uh, majority from Africa and only uh, around from Latin America uh, this year we had Latin America also and I think we have seven seven winners from Latin America so uh, that's, right. that's fantastic that's yes. fantastic thank you thank that's you very fantastic. very much Alicia. thank you, you thank you I'm congratulations great. thank you you are also second winner from Ghana TV3 Network Hi, congratulations. congratulations to you two and congratulations to all the awardees here. I have a special interest in um, a lot of human interest stories. So 
I major mostly as well in health, disability, and then mental health reporting. And what I did this time around was to look at three university students, blind university students, visually impaired university students, and their challenges with e-learning. Yes. And um, most, some of these three didn't have laptops or they had 40 laptops or they didn't have um, Android phones, which could make learning easier for them. Thankfully, the president of Ghana, which is our first lady's husband, Nana Kufadu, watched the story and one of the blind students I reported on got a full scholarship, got a laptop, got a new phone and a monthly stipend until she's done with school. The other impactful bit is that all the uh, two gentlemen I reported on blind boys also got new laptops and then new phones as well. Another bit of the, another story I did was um, looked at a school which had visually impaired and then sighted students. And I wanted to look at how they were managing with um, physical distancing. And it was virtually impossible in that school because because they're visually impaired they would have to call on their sighted colleagues to help them on campus and we looked at a bit about using um hand sanitizers how they were coping in these times and the challenges they had and this brought to the core how how these persons with disability were coping in these times other two stories i did was on mental health and how inpatients at psychiatric facilities themselves um, were dealing with COVID in this era because in mental health facilities there are some therapeutic activities they do they always connect emotionally and physically with um, the doctors and nurses at the psychiatric hospitals but because of COVID they had to end a number of these activities so the question is how are they coping in these times? I was able to reach out to speak to some of these inpatients and they said they understood because the nurses and doctors have taught them the era we are in and why they need to um, physically be distant. And that was for me, it was an exciting part of the story. I also looked at how the doctors, mental health doctors and nurses themselves are coping psychologically in this time because a lot of people concentrated on other mainstream hospitals but left out um, the mental health facilities. So how were they dealing with them? I looked at one of the psychiatric hospitals, the public psychiatric hospitals, two out of three. One of them had recorded um, the COVID-19 um, case. That was the very first psychiatric hospital. Measures they had put in place and how they were protecting themselves. And psychologically, how were they dealing with these concerns. And I visited one of the hospitals out of my region, which is a greater Accra region, to look at the measures they had put in place. For me, it's been all about impact and how you can touch lives positively because journalism is my tool for social change. And I believe that um, having this MEC award affords me the opportunity to network with like-minded journalists so that we can all bring about impact. And MEC also provides the platform to do other impactful stories and touch lives positively. So I'm so grateful for this recognition. Thank mm. you to you and your team. Thank you, thank you to Meg. And mm. thank you for connecting all of us as journalists as well. And I'm sure mm. through networking, we can do more to change lives positively. Definitely, Wendy. Thank you very much for focusing on marginalized groups during the coronavirus pandemic. It's really great. Thank you. And now we are going to the DRC Congo um, uh, winners of the Stay at Home Media Recognition Award, which has been launched also with the First Lady of DRC Congo, as well as Ghana was in a partnership with the First Lady of Ghana. So we will go for the Media Recognition Award online uh, category. Uh, first prize is Sazian uh, uh, Tribunal. Uh, from uh, Radio Central and personal blog named Diplomacy uh, Development, and it was really also active uh, on uh, on the uh, different issues during coronavirus and social and economic uh, development of uh, DRC Congo and in uh, Hello. Uh, Africa in general. Tizian, hi. Hello. Congratulations. Hello. Hi. Hello. We can hear you. Yes, we can hear you. Hi. 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 Yeah, how are thank you? you. Yeah, I'm you? fine, thank you. Thank you so much. You were uh, I just want 
Yes. Okay, I just want to say thank you to the Merck Foundation for this uh, Award Media Recognition 2020. It was such a big pleasure to be part of this program. And uh, I'm pleased, uh, humbled, and honored to have been chosen among uh, winners of DRC. Uh, I would like also to thank the Merck Foundation for uh, all initiatives that uh, this uh, instrument uh, is doing for many uh, people in Africa. And also I would like to uh, say thank you to Dr. Rasha Kelech for uh, the work that uh, she's doing. Thank you so much for the great work you are doing in Africa and uh, I think in many parts of the world. Uh, I know you are very, a very strong woman and uh, <laughs> keep on being strong. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Thank you so, uh, also, yeah. um, I would like to say also that um, this award was a, a very, a very great, a very great uh, improvement and uh, a very uh, huge psychological strength for me because uh, I, I told to myself that I was able to uh, write uh, articles to uh, sensitize people in Africa and also make sure that people can be uh, aware of the situation uh, in some subject about, uh, you know, uh, healthcare, about many programs. So I, I would like to continue to do it for the uh, African people and all people uh, all over the world uh, that uh, I think uh, they need the help from journalists and uh, also I'd like to stress the point about the uh, certificate that I think uh, maybe uh, Merck Foundation will follow with the first ladies uh, to give us the certificate uh, so that it will be, you know, uh, <laughs> the remembrance. No, no, we'll about... Definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll thank, do that. Thank, thank you, so Cassian, very, very much. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. From the the second time. award winner from uh, Stephanie Manza is here or not? Stephanie is here. Okay, can we finish the online and then we go to the print? So second uh, prize online, Stephanie Manza. Merci. Uh, je suis uh, Mati Moussaou, journaliste au quotidien journaliste au quotidien Forum des Arts en RDC. Et je remercie beaucoup la Fondation Merck pour cette opportunité. Et je remercie la Fondation Merck pour cette opportunité. Je remercie aussi le bureau de la Première Dame et la Première Dame de, de mon pays qui travaille avec la Fondation. C'est une opportunité que je, je compte vraiment capitaliser. Merci pour la synergie, pour la plateforme aussi. Et je suis journaliste et je, je traite souvent les, les questions de santé et quand j'ai vu euh, le, la candidature, euh, le projet lancé, j'avais beaucoup hésité au départ, je me suis dit est-ce que ça va marcher, je me suis dit bon à la fin je peux quand même oser, j'avais des articles écrits pendant la, la période de confinement et j'avais vraiment beaucoup d'hésitations et à, à la fin je me suis dit bon je me lance, je vais voir ce que ça va donner. Et le problème vraiment a demeuré dans notre pays, surtout à Kinshasa où je vis. Et les gens ne croyaient pas à la maladie, à la pandémie. Ils se disaient que ça n'existe pas, ce sont des histoires fabriquées par les autorités. Mais il y avait des cas que moi j'ai vécu moi-même. Il y avait même dans ma famille, ma soeur qui vit à, à, aux États-Unis, son mari était contaminé. Même ici à Kinshasa, il y avait des proches, des amis, des des connaissances qui étaient contaminées et ça faisait très mal. Des fois qu'on allait sensibiliser dans le marché, les gens se moquaient de nous. Pourquoi vous voulez vous dépenser votre temps Est-ce que la maladie a existé Effectivement, la maladie, la maladie existait. Il y a eu des cas que moi-même particulièrement, j'ai pu recenser, pu discuter avec euh, les personnes concernées. Merci euh, pour les prix, je ne m'attendais pas à ça. Je me suis dit, je me lance et si ça marche, tant mieux. Si ça ne marche pas, tant mieux. C'est un plaisir, c'est pris, c'est aussi une motivation pour moi de continuer à travailler dans les domaines de la santé aussi. Et puis, c'est aussi un honneur, un honneur pour moi, pour ma rédaction et pour mon pays. 
je remercie encore une fois la Fondation Merck pour cette occasion et je reste disponible pour travailler avec la Fondation pour d'autres occasions. Et je vous remercie aussi pour la formation que nous aurons pour le master. Ça sera très, très bénéfique pour nous. En tout cas, je suis, c'est un plaisir, c'est un plaisir d'être avec vous, c'est un plaisir de partager ces moments avec vous, avec tous les amis journalistes et confrères et consoeurs de toute l'Afrique. Je vous salue de partout où vous pouvez. Donc, je suis heureuse de faire partie de ces moments. Merci beaucoup. 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 Merci Uh, 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 category for the RC combo. Thank you and congratulations. Hello. 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 Yes. Bonjour, 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 bonjour à tout le monde. Bonjour. Bonjour. Hi, RC. Please speak. Congratulations. Ouais, ouais. Merci beaucoup. Et... Congratulations. Oui, oui, merci beaucoup, Madame Racha Kelej, et félicitations aussi à, à tous mes collègues. Permettez-moi, avant toute chose, d'exprimer notre nom personnel et de Dua Service, Dua Magazine, notre reconnaissance à la, à la Fondation Merck et ses animateurs pour avoir aussi porté leur choix à, à notre personne. Euh, il faut rappeler que depuis la création de notre magazine, nous avons toujours eu ces, ces soucis d'accompagner la population dans sa vie quotidienne par la sensibilisation à la conservation des valeurs et des mers. Et à cet égard, notre structure, au à service, du à magazine, uh, vise aussi dans ses ambitions ultimes à être un, un, un cadre de mobilisation et de conservation des mers publiques, source de, de, toute, de toute liberté et de tout bonheur social. Et c'est pourquoi du à service, du à magazine, s'implique étroitement dans les problématiques complexes qui, qui touchent notre société en, en motivant la communauté à abandonner les mauvaises habitudes, les mauvaises habitudes dont même l'impact est néfaste au développement de la communauté. Dans ce contexte, la pandémie du coronavirus a fait aussi l'objet de nos préoccupations, d'où notre implication dans la sensibilisation directe de la communauté a été une de nos priorités pour contribuer efficacement à, à sa protection sanitaire. Parce que s'il faut, il faut les rappeler à, en RDC, la, la population ne croit pas à cette maladie. La population ne croit pas, vraiment une grande partie de, de la population ne croit pas à cette maladie. Je pense que vous avez eu le temps de, de regarder nos vidéos. On était tout le temps en dans les coins réquilés de, de la RDC pour essayer un peu de sensibiliser la population. Et comme membre de la Mère Fondation, nous souhaiterions contribuer ensemble au bien-être de nos communautés pour un monde meilleur à travers nos expériences et nos visions mutuelles. Et merci beaucoup à la Fondation Mère et à, merci aussi à Madame Racha Kelej. Je pense que c'est... Merci, congratulations again. Congratulations, Mr. Uh, Moody. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Uh, do we have a second award winner for multimedia, Jesse uh, and Zenga? Yes, and Zingu? Yes, okay, yes, Jesse from DRC Congo, also second award winner for multimedia, Palmyra Radio Television. Uh, voilà. Yes. Uh, D'abord, yes, j'aimerais remercier tout le monde, particulièrement à la Fondation Merck. Nous qui ne sommes pas dans la capitale, c'était un véritable défi pour nous, pour avoir de telles récompenses. Mais à travers euh, un tel prix que la première dame de la République démocratique du Congo a pu vulgariser, nous avons postulé. Et ça a été une surprise pour moi, les moi à vous dire que j'étais vraiment aimé et satisfait de remporter déjà ce prix. Euh, D'abord, la problématique en République démocratique du Congo, comme dans d'autres villes, à, à partir de Kinshasa, dès qu'on a déclaré le premier cas, beaucoup de gens n'y croyaient pas, ils pensaient que c'était une campagne politicienne, peut-être pour se faire certains, certains dons. De ce moment-là, nous nous sommes lancés dans une campagne de sensibilisation. Après un certain moment, il y avait une multiplication de cas et certains ont tombé dans une psychose. On a travaillé sur une vidéo pour leur signifier que la prévention s'avérait être le maître mot 
pour limiter au maximum cette propagation contre la COVID-19. C'est cette vidéo que j'ai pu envoyer à Marc Fondation et voilà que ça a pu être récompensé et je suis flatté et je suis touché. Et à, en ayant ce prix, je suis un lauréat, je ne vais pas me limiter là. Déjà, je me suis lancé sur un autre projet, toujours dans le cadre de la sensibilisation, durant cette période, c'est concernant les criseurs qui partent dans des galeries à environ 60, 60 km carrés de longueur et de largeur. Donc, comment arriver à leur sensibiliser pour qu'ils puissent respecter aussi les gestes barrières, notamment la distanciation sociale Parce qu'en profondeur, ils y sont au moins, euh, au minimum, à 20 personnes. Donc, une autre vidéo que je suis en train de travailler euh, dans ces conditions-là, je pourrais toujours vous l'envoyer et peut-être la partager au maximum. Ce serait un très grand plaisir et une autre reconnaissance pour nous. Thank you very, very much, uh, very much, and congratulations again. Uh, we have the third uh, prize winner for multimedia, the RC Congo, mm -hmm. Casada, Casad, Casada, Locosa. Merci, merci. Uh, C'est uh, Nicolas Casadi de la radio télévision uh, Epidei. En Boujimaï, nous sommes dans, dans la région centre de, de la République euh, démocratique euh, du Congo. Déjà au départ, ça il faut le dire, c'est que nous on ne s'attendait même pas qu'on devrait gagner ce prix. Et si on nous avait dit peut-être qu'il qu devrait y avoir encore les masterclass après euh, le lancement de ces prix ou après la réussite, on aurait dit encore travailler et bosser à fond afin de pouvoir euh, gagner plus que ça. Déjà au départ, il faut dire que euh, la sensibilisation pour lutter contre la COVID-19, c'est un grand défi. Premièrement pour nous autres, parce que dans une région où pratiquement il y a un problème d'eau, c'est un problème récurrent. Il y a déjà maintenant plus de, de deux décennies que la population de Mbouji l'ensemble du Kassai oriental c'est bas pour avoir un difficile et alors difficile ben, écoutez vous devez laver régulièrement les mains garder une distanciation tout ça d'au moins un mètre pour chaque personne afin d'éviter la propagation de, de la COVID-19 et donc dans tout ça on s'était dit voilà il fallait se lancer euh, ces petits défis là composer des messages et ces messages s'il faut le rappeler dans cette région ici, euh, la population, s'il faudrait donner en termes de pourcentage, déjà 60% de la population euh, n'a pas étudié. En fait, il ne faudrait pas nécessairement composer les messages, ne serait-ce qu'en français, mais aussi il faudrait s'adapter à la réalité linguistique du milieu. C'est ainsi que nous, on s'était dit personnellement, c'est le même message que nous avons envoyé à, à Make Foundation, le même reportage que nous avons envoyé, euh, c'est qu'il fallait aussi le faire en, en Tchouluba, qui est la langue du milieu, pour permettre exactement à la population de comprendre euh, les véritables dangers qui étaient en train de guetter la communauté. Et aussi, à ce jour, il faut dire que la province du Kassai oriental est parmi les dernières provinces à être touché par la pandémie de la COVID-19. On a pu sensibiliser comme on pouvait. Et puis voilà, la pandémie est déjà sur les lieux. Et c'est déjà un autre défi. C'est que nous avons cette obligation-là à notre niveau en tant que média de continuer à sensibiliser. Alors, sensibiliser fortement dans cette région qui, d'autant plus, on le sait, à un problème sérieux d'eau. Et là, c'est qu'il faut faire avec. Donc la population aujourd'hui se débrouille d'une manière ou d'une autre pour pouvoir s'adapter à, à la situation. Et nous, en tant que médias, nous jouons ces rôles-là des tampons entre ce que les autorités peuvent dire et ce que la population doit nécessairement comprendre. Les autorités et les politiques disent les choses en leur propre manière, mais nous, nous tentons aussi de faire parler à les spécialistes tels que le médecin, les infirmiers, afin qu'ils puissent donner exactement des conseils adéquats pouvant permettre à, à, à la population de pouvoir respecter tout ce qui est dédicté comme mesure barrière afin de, de limiter la propagation de, de la COVID-19. Donc, c'est un peu ça. Moi, je me dis, nous médias, nous restons réellement médias. Nous sommes au centre de tout pour permettre aux uns et aux autres de pouvoir éviter la propagation de, 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 de cette maladie. En, en tout cas, moi, je dis vraiment merci à, à Dr. Khaled. C'est vraiment brave de votre part et de, 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 de pouvoir mettre le travail de journaliste sur tout, 
en cette période de crise sanitaire. C'est un, un grand prix, un grand prix. On ne voit pas le montant que les uns et les autres pourront recevoir, mais plutôt, nous, on le dit ensemble, c'est ce travail que nous avons rendu à, à la communauté qui est beaucoup plus important. Et que cela ne s'arrête pas seulement par ici. Les masterclass commencent, c'est une année. C'est qu'au-delà d'une année, nous devons revenir encore pour pouvoir évaluer un autre travail qui sera fait en aval afin de continuer toujours à travailler pour le bien-être de la communauté. En tout cas, merci et félicitations à tous les lauréats ensemble avec nous cet après-midi. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Nicola. Thank you very much and congratulations again. Uh, so, uh, after Mr. Nicola, we have uh, the first award winner for the radio category, uh, Ali Bukasa. Ali Bukasa is not here. Yeah. Uh, so now Judy we have Johnny Daniel. Yes. Yeah. Mr. Judy Daniel, second prize uh, of Radio uh, Okapi. Congratulations. Yes, I thank you, doctor. I, I, doctor, and uh, I, everyone. Congratulations. It's a, it's a great uh, privilege. Thank you for this recognition. Very I'm a journalist from DSC working with uh, Radio Capi, and we started uh, raising people awareness on the COVID before it broke out in DSC. And we are still working on it because uh, the disease is still there. And uh, thank you for everything you have done. And I would, I would like also to let you know that I'm a songwriter, so we can work together on the project you have, perhaps for women uh, and fertility. We can write songs on, on it and work together. Fantastic, so, fantastic. This is great. Yeah. Good news. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank and you also very you, much. I noticed that you speak English as well, so. Yeah, I'm just English trying. And French or, or, or only English or only French? Yeah, we can do it only in French because Congo is a, a French country. Yeah, but we want to... Uh, uh, ah, come on. We just say integration. So it has to be French, English, Portuguese and Arabic. Yeah. This is our next project. No problem. Yes. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> yes. We can do it like that. Great, and great. Thank you very much for thank the you. for the for the opportunity for the uh, for the the master class. We are waiting for it with excitement. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. I wish you great great luck. Thank you very much. Uh, I think now we You're finish uh, Congo, uh, DRC Congo. Now we go to Nigeria. Nigeria winners. Congratulations for Nigeria winners. And uh, the first prize winner for Media uh, Cognition Award Print category. Uh, from Nigeria, Ujumo, Ujuma, a call for Daily Trust. Ujumo? Hello, everyone. Hello, congratulations, Ujuma. How are you? Fine, thank you very much. I would like to thank MEC Foundation for the award. I am happy and honored. Thank you very and much. And congratulations to the other awardees. Congratulations, Dr. Rasha, on your appointments too. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, the, the next day at home awards, aside uh, um, propelling journalists to write more about COVID-19, it also gave the public the opportunity to be well informed and enlightened about the uh, pandemic. The, the lockdown and other measures instituted against COVID-19 was practically a new phenomenon for many, and they were in their need of information. There was also some myths and uh, misconceptions, but the consistent stories across it really came in uh, handy, really came in handy. So I want to thank MEC Foundation for its efforts in that area in ensuring that the public was well enlightened about uh, uh, COVID-19. Uh, many wanted to know how to stay healthy physically or mentally, and the stories really helped. So I look forward to the masterclass 
uh, more partnership with Merck on health reportage and uh, many Thank others. You, Jean Thank Jean you Jean all. Thank you very much, Jomo. Congratulations again. Now we go to the first award winner for Nigeria, Major Recognition Award in partnership with the First Lady of Nigeria uh, for the online category Eshuma Amy Mari from Ventures Africa. Eshuma? Hi. Good afternoon. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Oh, great. Thank and you. congratulations. Thank you so much, Russia. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you, Meg Foundation. I really appreciate this. Thank you. Thank you. You're I great. feel really, really excited. And like my, I feel like my work has gained global relevance, and my efforts are not in vain. Thank you so much, Meg Foundation. Well, Congratulations, also, Dr. Russia, um, on your new appointment. Thank you. Can you hear me? I yes, I can hear you. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Good. So, um, when the pandemic started, we made it a point of this, to always talk about this and to report what is happening around the world and how um, how to go about disseminating the right information. In Nigeria because we realize that most people in Nigeria do not really have access to um, power supply so the only way they can get information is via social media and online you know so um, at, uh, from our own end we ensure that we try to um, limit the, the, the kind of um, information negative information that goes out to people out there so we made it a, a point of call to 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 spread the right information to send the right um knowledge to people and that was why um i wrote the story i wrote about um debunking the meat about okay like i said um as that when i wrote the story i had not heard about the um the competition all, all my passion was about, I was all about giving, sending the right information out there to people. Let them get the right news. Let them know what is happening. Because we're, we, we, on social media, we're hearing um, alcohol kills the COVID-19, different things like that. So what we're out there to do was to make research, to get the right information, interact with experts, gather our information and send it out online so that we can get the right information and thank you Met Found and make foundation for the opportunity and the platform to spread the right information around the world really appreciate this thank you so much god bless yeah. you and i'm very i'm looking forward to the master class i hope yes. to improve on my writing i hope to improve and to gain um better platforms to share the right information thank you so much thank you Jean. thank you very much ojioma Thank you and uh, congratulations. Uh, again, we go to the first award winner for online category uh, uh, with uh, Juma was Eberi Agozi, Eberi Agozi from uh, GFH News. Eberi Agozi. Yes, uh, I can hear you. Good afternoon. Yes, bravo. Good. Yes. yes. My yes. name is oh, Eberi Agozi. Congratulations, my dear. Congratulations. Thank you. Is a very agozi. A very agozi. I yes. pronounced correct. Don't tell me. Yes. <laughs> the only correct name I pronounced today. Yes. yes. Congratulations. <laughs> and um, I work with the news agency of Nigeria. I just want to make that correction. But yes. GFH News is our client. Ah. So. Yes. What is I your what you work Nigeria. with? News agency of Nigeria. News is what? News Agency of Nigeria. News Agency of Nigeria. This might be yes. News yes. Agency of Nigeria. Definitely. Agency. I will send it as a text. Definitely. But we, 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 we sell news to all our clients, which GFH News is one of them. Great. Okay. Great. All right. All right. Thank you. So I really want to thank Med Foundation. I, the, I'm very happy receiving this award 
Yeah. When I was doing my reports, I was so discouraged. I met women who feel they couldn't do anything because of their nature. The challenge of uh, social distance. They couldn't maintain social distance because their husbands will not let them be. Some of them, their husbands are married to three, four wives and they couldn't keep away from their husbands because their culture forbids that. The religion forbids a woman saying no to the husband. So the woman finds herself sleeping with the same man that has gone around to sleep with others. So the issue of social distance was very difficult for them. And as a woman, as a mother, I felt bad when they started telling us what they were having, the issues, the problems. So I feel that is the right place. Um, Make Foundation has reassured me that I have a partner that can reach out to these women to tell them that, look, diseases and infections, they have no barrier, they have no language. The only language they understand is, look, I have a body that I can inhabit. There's nothing like, um, do we call it their religion? Whether you're a Christian, whether you're a Muslim, I can come into your body. Whether your culture says no or yes, I can come into your body. So we should listen to experts. That's what I tried to bring out in this idea of a COVID-19. My report was basically on social distancing. How difficult it has been for women to maintain social distancing. And I want to thank Med Foundation because you have given me the opportunity and you are prepared to partner with me to tell these women that we should all go out and keep ourselves safe. Thank you once thank again. Thank you, Barry. And thank I you look for forward to working with you. Thank you. And now we go to the second uh, award winner for online category from Nigeria, Odi, uh, Odimigua, Odimigu. On we marry. Yes, the Nigerian voice. Yeah, thank Hello. you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you once again. Thank you. Thank you for splitting the award. Uh, three um, stages. Uh, we really appreciate that. Unlike uh, the, the winner carries it all. And the uh, recognition awards for journalists have exposed the myths surrounding the coronavirus. Coronavirus caused all strata of human endeavors. And uh, he sent a uh, um, lot of uh, uh, damaging or psychological news in our heads. But these have really uh, threatened journalist and it has also united against the common enemy called coronavirus the awards has for journalists to unite against for that pandemic i sympathize with the families of kids during the pandemic and I pray that tomorrow we'll keep up our life. Let for me, I can write a book on this issue. Uh, reporting on it, I think it's not sufficient and not have many stories. I thank uh, Mark Foundation for this award. Thank you once thank you again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank Congratulations you. again. Thank you. And now we go to the multimedia yeah. uh, award. First award winner, Anita Felix. All right, Dr. Rasha Khaled, I need you to know how how honored I am to be meeting you eventually, finally seeing you. Yeah. You know, congratulations on your appointment as Thank a center. You, Great. You've been Thank doing you. amazing work regarding health, you know, in Africa and beyond. 
So well done. And thanks to every member of the MEC team for, you know, putting this award together. I feel so, so honored, you know, and talking about the COVID-19 pandemic, you know, it, it was it was such a tough period seeing that, you know, the rest of the world are required to stay indoors and, you know, take cover, you know, because of the pandemic and the risk, you know, that it poses to our health. But as a journalist, we were required to put on our boots and, you know, get on the field, be on the streets, speak to people. As a broadcast journalist, we have to go out there, look for the stories, you know, and get them on camera to bring back to all the work, the scripting, the voiceover, video editing. It was a lot of work. You know, I exposed yeah. myself to so many risks, speaking to doctors, you know, people whose relatives were infected with the COVID-19, you know, but I thank God that eventually it seems that, you know, the, the pace of the violence is slowing somewhat, somewhat it seems to be slowing, even though there are threats of a second wave in some parts of the country and some parts of the world as well, you know, but uh, it seems there, it seems like there's some, there's some breaks on, you know, the effect of the virus worldwide grateful for that and I am thankful to the Merck Foundation and yourself for awarding me with the first prize for the COVID-19 reporting uh, by Merck Foundation. Thank you so much. Thank you, and Anita. Congratulations. congratulations again. You deserve it and this will not going to be the last award for sure for you. Thank you very much. And now we go to the uh, on a radio category. Uh, first prize winner for Nigeria uh, Stay at Home Meet Recognition Award, Ikini Odigwa. Ikini Odigwa, congratulations for first award. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Good afternoon. Thanks for having us, Doc. And congratulations to you on your recent appointment as well. Thank it's you very much. Well, well deserved. So when COVID broke, it, it was more of me trying to fight uh, uh, infodemic because uh, I'm a development journalist. I'm major, my major impact is on uh, ending gender-based violence and um, fact-checking. So I do a lot of fact-checking uh, and media training for journalists in Nigeria. So it was more of me trying to tell a story and trying to use relative things around us to show how infodemic and false you know, news spreading around could endanger more lives than the COVID itself. And then it's proud to becoming a radio show that runs twice a week, then to move on to have a tweet thread, and then and moved on to becoming a podcast every week. Uh, the production and it, it was too much but uh in the end i'm quite excited that make foundation you know the call for it came out and i'm like okay if it is the call like this let's see where this gets us and <laughs> i entered for it yeah <laughs> and glad it turned out nice so thanks for the award of first position thank you i appreciate it congratulations so, you know, working a lot around gender-based violence and uh, maybe find a way to incorporate fact checking into part of the things you do for journalists around the world great thank you very 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 much and congratulations again Ekni, Ekni. and uh, of course uh, uh, now we finish the nigeria winners and now we are having our final winners of mali uh, for Stay At Home Media Recognition Award. We received a lot of application from Mali, which is very impressive. First award winner for the online category for Sini Togola from Filin Gora. Mm, uh, pour commencer, merci. Pour commencer, je voudrais présenter tout d'abord mes condoléances les plus sincères et appréciées à toute la famille de l'ex-président de la République malienne, Amado euh, Manitoué, qui nous a quittés dans la nuit du lundi 9 au mardi et 10 novembre 2020 en Turquie. Que la terre lui soit légère. Euh, C'est avec un réel plaisir que je prends la parole ce matin en cette visioconférence pour la célébration des prix de reconnaissance de la Fondation Merck aux médias pour la sensibilisation des communautés euh, sur la COVID-19 un prix dont je fais partie des heureux lauréats au Mali. Docteur Aracha, ainsi que toute l'équipe de la Fondation, mes premiers mots sont ceux de remerciement pour cette initiative. 
ce n'est pas la, euh, la valeur du prix qui compte pour moi, mais toute sa signification euh, pour euh, euh, une jeune maison d'édition comme euh, la nôtre. Certes, ce n'est pas ma première distinction en tant que journaliste, mais la particularité du prix de votre fondation, qui est désormais la nôtre, est que ce prix m'a permis de me rendre davantage compte de toute la contribution que peuvent faire les médias dans la sensibilisation des communautés sur des fléaux comme la pandémie du coronavirus. Docteur Aracha, je voudrais vous remercier et remercier toute l'équipe de votre fondation. Cette consolidation de ma conviction sur le pouvoir des médias dans la gestion des problèmes sociaux m'a amené d'ores et déjà à procéder à une sensibilisation sur un, un des phénomènes qui fait partie également des plus inquiétants dans mon pays, ma région, le Sahel, mais aussi, aussi le monde entier. Je vais parler du phénomène de l'enrôlement des enfants, des adolescents dans les rangs des groupes armés terroristes. Outre cela, Dr Aracha, cette reconnaissance du mérite est pour moi un appel à plus de professionnalisme un appel à participer à l'instauration de plus de sécurité humaine. Merci. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. And congratulations again. Uh, I would like to check for the second award winner for the online category, uh, Mr. Sheikh Mukhtar and the team from LSOR. Uh, is Sheikh Mukhtar here? Yes, Dr. Asha. Okay, Mr. Sheikh Mukhtar and his team um for les le soir le soir le soir maybe second prize for mali online category uh bonsoir tout le monde hello hi how are you moi c'est monsieur congratulations chek mokhtar traoré je suis journaliste au quotidien national du mali un organisme public donc moi, Histoire, je, yeah. je suis un peu, un, un peu avare à en parole, je ne sais pas trop parler, je sais pas trop parler, congratulations. Donc c'est pour moi un honneur et en même temps un plaisir d'avoir été désigné, sélectionné comme lauréat de, de ce prix de prestige. Et c'est aussi à la fois un plaisir et un, un honneur pour mon, mon organe. Et j'en profite pour saluer tous les lauréats qui, qui ont gagné ces prix. Et mon, mon plus grand souhait et ma plus grande motivation, c'est de pouvoir participer au masterclass de notre organisation pour une durée d'une année. Ça va. Et juste, j'en profite pour saluer tout le monde. Merci beaucoup à tout le monde. Merci. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you. you and congratulations again. So we now we go to the Media Recognition Award Multimedia category for Mali. First prize winner is Musa Abdullaya Baba Haldari uh, for RTM. Hello? Yes. <coughs> congratulations, Hello. Mr. Musa. Bonjour. Bonjour. Oui, c'est moi, Musa Papayidara. Je suis très ravi de vous rejoindre à l'instant. Mais on est très heureux d'avoir ce prix, hein. très heureux de faire partie en tout cas des euh, lauréats de Mark Foundation. C'est un plaisir pour nous. Et depuis qu'on a ce prix, on est bien oui. considéré dans notre euh, pays. C'est une euh, très belle opportunité pour nous. Et, et voilà, en tout cas, on espère que ce prix nous apportera beaucoup, qu'il a, qu a fait déjà tout de suite, hein, parce que... Maintenant, on nous met euh, sur des reportages euh, yeah. par rapport au Covid-19. À travers ce reportage, on a aussi participé à quand même à inviter les gens à rester à la maison. Et donc, c'est une opportunité vraiment. En tout cas, nous sommes euh, très impatients de commencer aussi la masterclass que vous nous offrez à travers ce prix. Et on, on sera le plaisir de bien sûr yeah. euh, ces formations et avec euh, yeah. beaucoup de plaisir. Et félicitations à vous, docteur Racha, pour votre... Euh, la nomination aussi, hein. c'est un plaisir okay. pour nous de, de le savoir aussi. En tout cas, félicitations à, à tous les journalistes euh, euh, des autres pays, euh, ceux du Mali, mais, mes confrères aussi et mes collègues. Et bonne chance aux, aux autres aussi, hein, en tout cas. 
Merci beaucoup. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Moses, and congratulations again. And now we go to uh, the uh, category, radio category. Mr. Moussa Kony, the first award winner for Mali category, radio uh, chain two. Uh, Mr. Moussa Kony? Yes, I'm here. Yes, congratulations. Thank you. Can you can you see me and hear me, please? Yes, yes, we can. Okay. 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 Uh, good afternoon, Dr. Rasha. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Musa Kone. I'm from uh, Mali. I'm a journalist uh, in uh, ORTM, Radio Channel 2. I'm really happy to be... Uh, I'm really happy to be one of these uh, winners. Do you hear me, please? Yes, I can hear you. Yes. Oh, okay. I, I said, I'm really happy to be a winner of this. I'm very happy to be, to be with you as well. And congratulations. <laughs> from my foundation, I found this initiative very more than necessary in an intense period of COVID-19 and raising awareness about Raising awareness in this time is a role of the media, but tell me said that Mer Foundation has been instrumental in this role during the period, difficult period of containment. I'm very happy today for this with this award because it honors my country, Mali, in general. And my radio channel too, in particular. Let me congratulate all winners of this award. And so I greet the effort in the fight against coronavirus in their respective countries. Once again, thank you to Merck Foundation. Today, I'm very happy to be one of the Merck Foundation and about the master class I'm looking for a about that. And I will be very, very happy for this opportunity too. So good continuation for the conference. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Moses, and congratulations again. I think we finished all the uh, winners. Uh, is anyone missing that we couldn't speak or had a technical uh, problem not to speak? Mr. Jolio? from Benin. The, uh, do you, can you speak now um, or you still have technical uh, problem? Oui, oui, oui. Hello? Okay, great, great, great. So we missed you last time, but now you can you can speak now. Uh, and you are from okay, the online winners of the French-speaking countries. Congratulations. Okay. Thank you. Je peux aller? Yes, we can hear you. Yes, go ahead. Okay, d'accord, d'accord. Okay. Yes, congratulations. Euh, je voudrais, je voudrais remercier le docteur Racha Kiri, qui est une personnalité influente en Afrique. Donc, euh, le prix exceptionnel que mon travail journalistique a mm -hmm. reçu par la fondation qu'elle dirige euh, va certainement booster ma carrière. Donc, bon, c'est que c'est mon audience qui va s'accroître et mes publications auront plus de visibilité et de crédibilité. Allô? Ce qui aura euh, un impact sur la communauté. Alors, en ce qui concerne les médias, je voudrais dire que les médias jouent un grand rôle dans la communauté, en ce sens qu'ils participent efficacement à la prévention et à la sensibilisation des maladies d'urgence comme le coronavirus. Alors, sur ce terrain, nous, les acteurs des médias, nous avons une lourde responsabilité. Merci. Thank you very much, Mr. Joliu, and congratulations again. I would like to thank all of you for your precious time, valuable time, and congratulate you all again for uh, the last time, uh, but this is not going to be our last time to meet. 
uh, we are going to meet in uh, continuously and uh, in a very um, uh, regular basis. Uh, I'd like you to benefit from uh, the uh, uh, online master uh, course. Uh, it is a self-learning course, course, and I'm sure you're going to benefit and enjoy it so much. Uh, we will be in touch with you. I will be uh, sending you through my team some materials about awareness about infertility, the storybooks of children, and we can uh, exchange ideas on how to uh, empower girls through education and empower infertile women through breaking the stigma of infertility in Africa and in your communities. And uh, also uh, different, different ideas. Uh, we will come back to it to integrate for integration and inclusion of all Africa as one Africa. Uh, and uh, many other ideas uh, we are going to exchange uh, together in the future. Um, as as you, as Merck Foundation alumni and advocates for many uh, important uh, causes and uh, novel causes that can create a culture shift in Africa and beyond. So uh, also, uh, we said there's some, some uh, of you that I will be connecting to uh, form an internal, uh, like local uh, platform and training courses for some countries. Uh, which we did not uh, uh, address in uh, the uh, uh, past, but now we have to do it online due to coronavirus until further notice. Uh, but also we are going to, uh, I will also communicate with you for uh, the, um, if you have any ideas of the topics I told you, the integration and the opportunities shared between Egypt and, and, and Africa between uh, French-speaking countries, English-speaking countries, Portuguese-speaking countries, and Arabic-speaking countries. So, one Africa and integration in general. Um, so, um, many ideas and, and things will come uh, from the networking, changing experience. And I will always be with you on, uh, online and uh, on the WhatsApp group. And thank you very much and congratulations again. And you cannot imagine how happy I am. It's like making up my day. I'm happier than any other thing that we miss uh, each other and we connect with each other. And it's going to be only a seed and we will have the exponential growth for the whole uh, continent together. Uh, the sky is the limit and uh, nothing is impossible. We can achieve anything. So thank you very much for your valuable time and I meet you soon. Bye. See you. Bye. <laughs> Great. <laughs>